Hey everybody, and welcome to Shy's art stream. Uh, I think there might be an ad playing right now, but it's really early in the morning and I just don't care. So, um, I'm going to intro this stream anyway. And there's probably a lot of subscribers in the chat that aren't watching the ad right now anyway. So, anyway, welcome everybody to Shy's art stream. Um, she is going to be drawing um, an over-sexualized version of the new local leader. And it's going to be great. Um, MGI Blaze isn't here, but Lardcat is here very early. MGI Blaze isn't here at the moment, but we have a super duper special guest. Super special guest, would you like to introduce yourself? No, I thought I'd just stay quiet for the whole stream. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> I mean, if you, if you want to do that, you can do that. <laughs> Hello. Welcome to the stream, peoples. I've, I've invaded. And Take who is own. you? Uh, I am Omni Voice. Uh, hey! Once or twice, occasionally, uh, shamelessly self advertise myself on Chai's channel. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with that. I do that every week. See? It's, it's, a good, it's a good racket to be in. Yeah! Yeah! Shameless self promotion at Shai's expense is always a good decision. Never doubt yourself, my friend. Never doubt yourself. This is actually my, uh, my first time being. Oh, oh is my voice kind of quiet? Uh, actually, I don't know. Bump my. I think my all the, I think all the voices are just a little bit soft uh, compared to the music. I know a bunch of people have um, said that before, but eh. is this any better? Am I louder now? Hello? It sounds like it. it Hello, I mean, is to me. Did you hear me? <laughs> <laughs> Hello, can you hear? Someone us? just said, "What is Omni known for? Loud, loud shouting." You're not wrong. <laughs> Yo, Omnivoice, I'm a big fan of your vids. Look, oh, look at all the fans you got. You. All the fans you got. This is actually uh, my first time ever being on a form of stream. It's a, uh, it's a very different really? experience. Really? Ever? Ever. You've never been on anybody else's stream ever before? Never, ever, for never, ever. Wow. I didn't know that. It's, it's I, amazing. I, like that. I would have figured with those sultry, dulcet tones, you would have been a stream veteran. It's still too quiet. Come on, uh, how's this? Is this better? I, I I I gotta say, we need to be careful how much advice we take from chat because sometimes chat's been known to be a little trolly, just just a little bit. So they might be trying to get you to just be like the whole stream. You're you're very self conscious about, it and you're just like, is this okay now? <laughs> and and they try and get you to do the entire stream like that. We we need to be a little careful how much. Oh. I'm, I'm being told I'm good. Chat. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna keep it like this. Keep it like that. Cool. cool. Yeah. No. First time streaming. It's it's great. It's a different experience. You know, having that sitting feeling of anxiety that anything oh. I say here and now will be permanently seared onto my record, so that people can judge me from years to come. It's awesome. It's amazing, right? It's the best feeling ever. It's so um, great. You just need to learn at some point that it's like, um, I don't just I don't care. <laughs> I just I I I don't care. You know? Oh, um, oh some, someone says to please talk like Loki. Well, I mean, I could talk like Loki. Or you could. I could or bring you him could over talk here. talk like Rhino. Because I have a confession to make. They're actually all different people. Oh. I've been lying to everyone. My God. I only have one voice. Excuse me a moment. Hey! Hey, hey Rhino, come over here. <laughs> no, no, no. Put the opticore down. Put it, put it down. But the opticors are amazing. Here. How are you guys doing? <laughs> what is this? What does this button do? Now don't push any buttons, Rhino. Don't, uh, don't, don't stop pushing buttons. But this stop. one's cool. It says no. escape. Stop it. Last uh, time you did that, someone got expelled out of a out of a Lisette. So just don't touch anything. Uh, don't touch anything. You just keep playing with your opticore, and it's okay. Oh, right. finally, someone who agrees with me. Someone who actually has sense in this world. <laughs> but I like the OptiCore. <laughs> push oh. the button! They're telling me to push the button! All right, I'm doing it! 
Well, stream's over. <laughs> Omni's Omni's out the fucking airlock. I'm pushing the button. Don't push the button, Rhino. I'm doing it. You can't <laughs> tell me not to. <laughs> oh, oh the guy personalities he's... are already kicking in. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Who is this guy? He's great. Um, this is Omni Omega Voice. You can find him on. Where could they find you on YouTube anyway? Uh, you can find me at um, Omni Voice. Maybe. <laughs> maybe. Maybe. I don't maybe. know. Omni Voice, Omni Omega Voice, Omni Omega Voice Over, whatever username YouTube decided to give me that people can actually search for. Ah, well, if you didn't know, it seems like Roz just put all of your links in chat. Holy Fantastic. Goodness. So Thank click you. on those links and uh, show them some love. Yeah. Oh, this chat. I'm trying to like read all the messages. Jesus. Help. Yep. Oh yeah, it's it's gonna be near impossible to read all the chat messages. Um, because at peak, there's there are gonna be more than five hundred people here, so it's it's you get you get to what you can, which is also a nice reminder to chat that if your message is missed, it's because there could be over five hundred people in here, and it's really hard to read all those messages. So, um, yeah, if your miss if your message gets missed, TFB. Yeah. Um, hey, someone in the chat wanted to see me. No, they didn't. Go away. No one wants you here. <laughs> I really want to be on the stream. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's like doing it's like doing a puppet show with my voice. <laughs> I really should have puppet. You know, I could probably do a puppet show if I knew how to. Puppet you should you play. should commission puppets for yes. all of those characters and legitimately do Warframe puppetry. We're for aim puppetry. Because, as far as I know, anyway, nobody on YouTube is doing Warframe puppets. I'm done. So... I'm, I'm going to friggin' monopolize the market. So, if you reenact the second dream with puppets, I mean, I, I think you found a new gig. Uh, someone had a question, uh, did you always have this amazing, uh, have, wait, did you always have this amazing voice range, or have you trained? I have done no official training whatsoever. I have just basically, I just kept talking. I went in the shower and I started just screaming. Baby, I just kept doing it way. over and over, and uh, it was based off of inspiration and practice over and over, and eventually I just figured out how to do it. There you go. See, you don't have to pay... You know, hundreds of thousands of dollars on like a vocal coach. Just do it. Exactly. Just like Shy was never taught how to do artses. You just started doing it. So. That's where you gotta go. I mean, you, or you could you could go to a liberal arts college and get into debt for like the rest of your life. You know, it's fine. I'm not gonna tell you how to live your life. <laughs> for the rest of your life and your kid's life. But yeah, you could just start doing it. And... You could be, you could have as amazing a vocal range as Omni here. Oh, someone wanted me to scream for an hour. I'll oh, do it for God. two seconds. Ah! All right, we're good. Good. Yeah, we're good. That's all I'm I, doing we're good. I'm we're good. We don't need that for another hour and a half. Also, I thought it was just going to be an over sexualized new loca person. Apparently, she's a goddamn hippie, too. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. Someone wants me to do Steve's voice? I don't know how to do Steve's voice. It'd be kind of hard to imitate Steve. I mean, I guess you just do kind of a normal, chill-ass Canadian dude. Because, <laughs> yeah, Steve doesn't have any real defining vocal characteristics. He's just kind of a really chill Canadian dude that drinks beer and, and makes video games. But, yeah. There you go. I'd, I'll have to ask my, uh, my Canadian friends. They'll be like, hey, give me, give me accent tips. Although, then he'll tell me, no, I don't have the accent. Leave me alone. <laughs> yeah, kind of kind of hard to ask for accent tips when he doesn't have the accent. Oh, for God's sakes. My friggin', my friend Jay is in the <laughs> chat. And he's, do Omni voice his voice. No, really, Jay? <laughs> he is actually one of my um, body doubles. He'll pop in and help me do, uh, make some scenes. He was also the voice of that occasional, that, what, like, Saren that showed up that was like a weird smoker lady. Okay. I don't know. He has a long story for that. I'm not even going to get into it. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, he can type that into chat if he really wants there us you to go. know. <laughs> Jay, tell us the story of Bertha Hips. Bertha Hips. Nice. If I, like I have, to, if I I have to sum it up, 
he was doing, uh, what was it? It was Saints Row, and he just did a random character, and it gave him a character called Bertha Hips, and he's just like, this is perfect. There you go. <laughs> just so, <laughs> so I said, Bertha all right, Hips. you want to do a voice? He's like, can I do a weird smoker lady? And I'm like, why do you want to do that? And he's like, <laughs> I need to make a character. And I'm like, oh, God. So he made they a weird smoker amazing. lady. Nice. Can you get a bucket prime? Absolutely. For three easy payments of 99, 99, 99, 99. Mm. Oh, also, I, uh, Roz told me I was supposed to mention that uh, glyphs are being given away via some sort of raffle system now. So, yeah. Begging for them is even more useless than it was before. Because apparently it's just a raffle thing. So, yeah. Oh, someone wants yeah. me to do Inaros's. Oh, all right. Wait. I actually do have a little bit of a confession to make about uh, Inaros's as well. Um, I can do his voice, but it's so quiet because I have to go so low that I actually do do it a little bit higher and then pitch it down. Oh. I can get to it, though. Let me see. <clears throat> if I try to go as low as possible, I can get to Inaros. There he is. It's a bit more of a growl to it. There he no, is. No, that's not even that. There it is. There's an arrow. There it is. <laughs> but it's so it's so low. It's it's so hard to hear it sometimes. Ah, it sounded fine. Uh, I could I could hear it just fine. Yay! Just... Also, as is always customary on Shy's streams, her 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 nails got shorter. I think she mentioned that on Twitter or something. Also, from the seventies. Thank you for the beefy ass host. Much appreciated. Uh, I think he's actually going to raid. I, I mean, we were hosting his stream earlier, and I think he was saying something about raiding, but yeah. Oh, I should probably not say anything that requires chat interaction right now, oh, because no. there is a... Uh, There's the glyphs. There's the, the glyph glyphs. giveaway. <laughs> that's... That's like the defense command for any um, for any incoming raids. It's just exclamation PC glyph. Holy <laughs> crap. Yeah, people get really crazy about getting Shy's glyph. Um, I don't know if you could tell. Uh, no, not at all. I no. think it's, just, it's just a cult following. Just a, just a few people. Just a couple people. <laughs> yeah, but it used to be um, that mods would just uh, post them in chat, and they'd post like five of them in chat. It's like, uh. 500 people, everybody would end up complaining that they couldn't get one. Like, well, how am I supposed to get it? You know, I, I did it like a second after, but somebody already redeemed it. <laughs> yep. Yep. Oh, all right, so. What, uh... I think it's, I, like, well, obviously, I'm waiting for the glyph thing to see if anybody has any more questions. Yeah, I know. I was going to say, before we move on to any topics, we might as well wait until the uh, the PC glyph spam ends. And also, you guys can only enter it once. Like, once you've entered it, like, entering it again is kind of pointless because you can't enter twice. And there are some bots that if you try and, like, spam entrance, they'll actually disqualify you. So, um... Spamming entrance is even worse, an even worse idea if you actually want a glyph. If you just don't give a fuck and you're trying to be a troll, I guess whatever, but yeah. Um, also, uh, Shy's shirts are on sale. I don't know how much longer they're on sale, though. Um, it is a limited time deal, so follow that link that Roger's put in chat and get your ass some Shy stuff. You better buy one. If you don't buy one, I don't like you anymore. You I do don't either, because I bought all of her merch. Yo, just like, yeah. I I wear one as a hat. <laughs> you wear her shirt as a hat. One of them. Like, <laughs> all... <laughs> all right, wait. There was a there was a question up above. I think I missed it. Probably. Well, I'm going. I'm going. How do you do Naja's voice? It's base. It's actually it's it's rhinos, but like I just raise my voice a bit. Hold on. <laughs> yeah, sort of like this. There he is. Hi, I'm Naja. I slide. I like to slide around. It's also my constipated voice. <laughs> <laughs> it's also my constipated voice. <laughs> I should never have said that. Now I can't unhear it. Yeah. I've ruined it. You've ruined, ruined Naja's it. voice for everybody. It's kind of ironic that your Naja voice is just a higher version of your Rhino voice, considering everybody always says the same thing about Naja being Rhino light. So it's fitting. <laughs> 
that's perfect. And I actually have to admit, I never thought about that. <laughs> yeah, I'm everybody that, gives an endless shit for that. And for oh, me, it's even worse because I want I want an augment for him that makes it so like every time you use divine spears, every person that gets caught in divine spears replenishes his warding halo. So ooh, that'd be a nice one. Yeah, but it's exactly like um, it's exactly like Rhino's augment that replenishes his iron skin. For yeah. people that get caught in his ultimate, so yeah, I actually made I made a uh, post on the Reddit about that once, and I I hate when people compare Najat to Rhino. It's like, yes, okay, two of his abilities are pretty damn similar, but aside from that, he's so much different. He really is. You but play them entirely differently. That, oh yeah, and you build them. I'm pretty sure you build them a little different too. Um, but yeah, it. It is a non-stop thing. Because I've been playing Neja a lot lately. Ever since uh, Pyroclastic Flow came out, I've been playing a lot of Neja. And yeah, it is All a right. non-stop comparison with uh, Rhino. I'm going through the scene trying to see if I can see a question here. I think it would be Nidus' voice. Nidus? I don't know. I think... I would almost want to make, make Nidus not what you would expect. Just to kind of make it a bit of a joke. Well, like, Nidus is a pish posh gentleman. You'd expect him to sound something like this, where it's like, I'm infested. I can, uh, I'm gonna give you germs. But I don't know, I feel like that's too expected. I feel like I should give him something like, Hi, I'm Nidus! Halt! Oh. Oh, you <laughs> oh, spread some Definitely wouldn't disease. expect that from Nidus. <laughs> I don't know, it might be good. Nidus is a nerd. <laughs> yeah. Let's see. Um, if I sub heal here, will I get a glyph? Uh, nope. Um, subs don't immediately get glyphs. Uh, I'm assuming it's kind of the same deal as what I do on Twitch, where it's, it's like, if you're gonna sub here, um, we want it to be because you genuinely enjoy the content, um, enjoy what we're doing, um, and not because, you know, you think you're gonna get, like, a prize or you're gonna get a trophy just for subscribing. Um, we'd rather have you here because you enjoy the content and you're enjoying yourself, you're enjoying Shai's artwork, you're enjoying the commentary, whatever, and not just for like some ulterior motive of like a glyph and then, you know, you end up not coming back again or something, or you were just here for a glyph. You were only here for one month for a glyph or something. Um, yeah, so. I mean, and glyphs are given out fairly frequently um, via Roz's raffle, so, yeah. So, let's see, uh... What Wait, voice character that? hurts the most? On Inaros. Your voice? 100% Inaros, Inaros going that low, right? I always record him last because after I'm done doing him, it's like I'm done. I it's usually done. the order goes Loki, and then Vaven, and then Rhino, and then Inaros. That's how I go. I would have figured Rhino would was well. I guess before you made the Inaros voice, Rhino was probably the worst because just you constantly just kind of yeah. He's not too bad, though. See, because what a lot of people think is they think when you do a voice that's kind of deep and growly like this, that mm -hmm. you're growling from the back of your mouth. That's not the case. See, with Rhino, what you want to do if you're doing a growl voice like this is you go from the bottom of your throat. Oh, you go so you've got it all figured out. Throat. You won't tire out as much. But if you go from up here, then it really hurts. It's like, oh! <laughs> Yeah, I think that's what most people assume is that, I mean, it's going to really hurt, but damn, you got it all figured so, out. The one voice I do not know how to explain is Vobbins. I don't know how I do this. I'm not plugging my nose right now. I was going to say, it sounds like a really nasally voice, and you can do nasally voices without, like, plugging your nose. It's It's weird. I've... I've done a nasally voice without like plugging. It's it's a it's a weird phenomenon doing it though. Yeah, I don't know it's enough about the uh, anatomy of like the back of my mm -hmm. throat to really understand what it is. Um, there's not. Is it? Is it Kermit's? I'm trying to practice a Kermit. Like a he's, Kermit. It's really the hard though. <laughs> I don't really know how to do Kermit that well. It's Aruba, not that bad. Jamaica. <laughs> We're gonna have all the old school references today. <laughs> How do you do the Australian accent for bear? Actually, I did see another question way up, but I couldn't find it again. It was something about the Australian accent. I am not native Australian, and that is definitely not an Australian accent. That is an Outback Steakhouse <laughs> accent. 
<laughs> I am butchering Australian Please accents. Please tell me right you got your Australian accent impression from a fucking Outback Steakhouse commercial. Please tell me. Oh, blooming onions, mate. Oh, yeah. You're going to come down here at $9.99 right now. Nine ninety nine. What a deal! <laughs> <laughs> oh god, can I copy DK's voice? And I, I don't know. I don't think I can. I don't think I can copy your voice. Dude, I'm probably. not as much an impressionist as I am. Just straight voices. I was gonna say most people would be like, just sound as derpy and weeby as you possibly can, and you'll probably sound like me. Just try your hardest to sound like a fucking nerd. And ah you know. oh, shoot. See, not bad. <laughs> Hey guys, you want to see some anime? Some anime? I got my manga in the closet. <laughs> <laughs> I need to make Tyler Regger voice. Oh god, I don't. Fucking spot on. Impression. Impression. <laughs> Fucking anime. <laughs> Fucking uh, Tyler Regger. I don't even know. He's just. Yeah. Uh, li yes. Live dissection. What's the line he does? <laughs> I'm excited now. The anticipation. Ooh. I always learn so much from a live dissection. That's actually like that. really good. It wasn't. It wasn't too bad. I don't think. That was actually really good. Like, I I would be convinced that that we actually had Till Rigor's voice actor on here. Yo, I want to meet him so bad. Yeah. <laughs> I had to go to Bax, and I already was there, and I was like, no. I that was like, I'm, I'm, I'm still, I'm still pretty sold on that Till Rigor impression. Thank you. Like you, you could just do a series of being Till Rigor, and just have him in very awkward situations. <laughs> that was that was that was solid though. That was really good. Yeah, maybe if I practice it, I'll just keep doing it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> perfect. And then he does, See, then he does the yell. It's like, would you look at you? Worthless, ugly freaks. <laughs> I love that line so much. Can you try Vor's voice? Oh, just this is welcome to the impression stream. Oh, God, uh, here featuring we go. Omni voice. <laughs> impression uh, stream. Yo. Now, you know now that I... you've done a perfect Till Rigor, everybody's going to be like, hey, do, do, do Lotus. Do Lotus. <laughs> Do Vor, do Corrupted Vor, do Corrupted Vor speech! Which, that's probably gonna be the next thing. Yeah, I'm gonna do, um... I'm gonna do Raptor. And you mean to I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say, good luck! <laughs> and you know people are gonna ask you to do Grafit, right? <laughs> Grafit! <laughs> How would Hydroid's voice sound like? He'd have to be a pirate. I don't know, he might just be an accent. Probably. Yeah. I, I always imagined if he was in my show, I'd have him as like that crotchety old man that's like, Hey, get off my lawn! <laughs> That'd be weird for Hydra, because I, I don't... I think like everybody else, I kind of picture Hydra as like a pirate, so I would assume yeah. you'd have, he'd have like a pirate Johnny Depp voice. You're meaty, get off me lawn! <laughs> <laughs> yes, Corrupted Vore is like 90% filter. I'd have to filter. I don't have like a friggin' uh, voice changer thing. Like, oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. I can't do it on the spot. That'd be cool though. Yeah. Make hydroid friend. I can't do a French accent. That's the one thing I can't do. Make paint, paint hydroid like one of your French girls. <laughs> what would Frost sound like? I already have a voice for Frost. He's very depressed and he's just kind of sad. As well he's he just, should be. He's so bothered about the fact that his prime doesn't look any different from the default. It's Except like that damn Can I God. try Reaper's die die die? I don't know. That's... You would probably have a good Reaper, actually. Your voice is probably very well suited for that. I'd have to get into a bit of a growl on. Yeah. Reaper. There it is. Sort of like this. <laughs> I don't know. It's, it's really hard. I love it when you find the voice, and in the voice, like, yeah, there it I, is. I, I always have I to love do that. that. <laughs> yes, I didn't think I could do that. <laughs> I fucking love that. But it's just like, let's see if I can get into the voice. Mm, there's the voice. Is this the voice? Yeah. That's it. Right there. <laughs> Got it. Spot on. Growl. Like, I fucking love that. It gets Mission me every done. time. Oh, yeah. Metal Gear. <laughs> oh, I'm climbing up ladders. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, if only I could do his voice. 
<laughs> See, now everybody's just asking. Uh, I know, it's do great. Voice. <laughs> I'm trying. Do Nova, Growl, Reinhardt voice, Alan V, new local lady. Do all the voices. Just run through all the voices in. Reinhardt! I love Reinhardt! I don't know. It's just kind of like. <laughs> Kayla Reinhardt is just really loud. I'd, I'd have to. I don't know. I don't think I could do Kayla. I can't do a female voice, even though hers is kind of still kind of deep. Yeah, it'd be kind of rough to do a female voice. Yeah. Ooh, sounds like Jack. Yeah, I guess. I'm new Imagine really Equinox good brain. just pitching from hard to soft constantly. That's actually a really good idea. That is, because I mean, you'd have to have two different voices for her. Yeah, I would just. I would just do a voice like this and a voice like this, like dubbed over each other. <laughs> just make it really weird. <laughs> yep. Uh, Morgan. Someone wants you to do Morgan Freeman, and I think that would be brilliant. <laughs> oh, I'm Morgan Freeman. <laughs> I'm just not, not I don't know. He's hard to do. <laughs> There's a reason why he's so successful. Because <laughs> he's got a very, very, um, I don't even know what the word, iconic voice, I guess. Yeah. yeah. Arnold Schwarzenegger. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> he just says the Arnold, Arnold, Arnold thing. I like that. It's like, I'm going to do Arnold. I'm just going to make a random sound. <laughs> just like, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just. <laughs> Jay says, that would be Gordon Freeman. Okay. Yep. How was that? <laughs> Spot on. Spot on. Oh, um, <laughs> this is a little fucked up, but that's usually what I do when someone's like, Hey, DK, uh, what does shy sound like? And I'm just like, you really want me to do a shy impression? Oh, no. And I just don't say anything for like 10 seconds. And I'm like, hey, spot on. And <laughs> I, always, I always feel terrible about it. But at the same time, like, it's kind of funny, though. It's kind of funny, though. Um, hey, um, um, Inglorious. Thank you for the $5 sub. Better also, Troy Baker. Holy shit. That's a compliment. Thank you. That is quite a comp, but Troy Baker, Troy Baker like Troy Baker voices everything everywhere. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, he's in like everything. Um, but also, a uh, little little shilling for Shy. Uh, if you guys didn't know, all of September is September. Nice pun, Twitch. Um, all new subs are half off. So if you were ever considering subbing, um, you know, four ninety nine becomes a two ninety nine. Twenty-four ninety-nine becomes a twelve ninety-nine. So yeah, it's a fantastic time to sub. Uh, you can also try a uh, free Twitch Prime trial um, for thirty days, and that will give you a free subscription to use on your favorite Twitch streamer, which could very well be shy. So yeah. Also, she has shirts that are on sale. So shameless plugging for wifey uh, done. Yo, if we're gonna do shameless plugging, I need to like, I need to do something like, yo, if someone donates five thousand dollars right now, I will read a chapter of Fifty Shades of Grey's Volvin. Ooh. Okay. <clears throat> I so I we... stick to that. If someone fucking donates five thousand dollars, I will do Volvin reading a friggin' like chapter. I, I don't think you've under I don't think you understand what you have done. I will do it. 100%. Because uh, <laughs> at at one point, Shai said, "Oh, for every five hundred dollars, uh, every time someone donates five hundred dollars, I'll get rid of a fidget spinner." And she made a thousand dollars that day. Woo! I think no, it might have only been one person that donated. No, it might have been two. I think I think I think they might have gotten rid of both of them. Also, uh, Shy got a new fidget spinner. It's like yeah, bright right. metallic red. Shiny. Yeah. yeah. Be right back, breaking my back. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I'm trying to look through these questions. How did I come up with Wukong's voice? Wukong's voice is just King Candy from Wreck-It Ralph. You ever seen that movie? <laughs> I love that movie. Oh, that movie's amazing. <laughs> that was actually what, such a good movie. What, yeah, it actually was. What convinced you to, to like do that voice for Wukong? Like, what's what's the process for coming up with, like, a voice? Because sometimes the voices, like you said, they don't really sound like, you know, the character it, you're trying to portray. It's a mix of, like, what obviously the Warframe is for what role I want to give them in mm. the show. For Wukong, I don't know. I just, I wanted something bizarre. I, I more or less actually, <laughs> I did that voice before, and then I was like, I need a Warframe that could match this. 
And I just thought, what if I just took a Wukong and gave him the weirdest colors? <laughs> just made him look so weird. You know, even if you didn't give him weird colors, for some reason with that voice, I can just imagine Wukong with that voice just pogo sticking around. <laughs> On his, like, iron jab, just pogo sticking around, just doing happy day and shit like that. So yeah. I think I think it's fitting. What do I think about the details of Quiet Shy's new logo art? I love it. It's <laughs> the fantastic. Look details. at that. Details. So good. Air but quotes. no, really, like, I especially, um, I really love that, Shy, you're doing this um, hand-drawn. I advocate for hand-drawn art a lot because my father is actually an artist, and he's done um, oh. painting, just sketching. He's done it for, like, 40 years now. Damn. And we, we go around from show to show, and it's always so cool because um, he's licensed for a lot of different products. And it's always cool to like meet a lot of different artists that are doing different mediums, different, mm -hmm. um, like some people do watercolors, some people do chalk, sure. some people do all sorts of stuff. But ever since digital art started coming out, a lot of people started thinking, well, why would I do hand-drawn when I can do digital? And it's like, yeah. well, because of this. This is yeah. exciting and fantastic to watch. If you're watching someone digital, I don't know. I've never really... Digital, sure. You can make the end product look nice. And you can make it look just as good as maybe um, hand-drawn. The difference with hand-drawn, though, is that it's a performance art. You are working Please, with yeah. permanent or semi-permanent medium. And that's what makes it so amazing. I would rather watch someone try to do something with permanent, like, ink than someone who can just press control Z whenever they make a mistake. Yeah. Okay. Which is basically what a lot of um, digital art streams become, is there's a lot of just control Z, undo, 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 undo. And half mm -hmm. the time you're watching them like monotonously go over one line, erase it, do it again, erase it, do it again, and erase it. So I, I, I totally get where you're coming from. Um, Shai's dabbled in digital art, but she doesn't, she's not a big fan of it. She prefers doing it yeah. like this. And I think all of us prefer her doing it like this. And I'm definitely not saying either that like anyone who's doing digital art, like I'm not saying, oh, you're not doing like art. It's not real. It's like, it's, oh, well, sure. it's your, sure. me it's your medium. It's whatever you desire to do. But yeah. I've heard some people say, oh, the hand drawing is in the past. It's all digital now. And I'm like, eh, I don't know. You gotta get, you gotta, everything. I love, uh, one of my favorite things is uh, glass blowing. That's one of my favorite art forms. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I've actually um, had the pleasure of being able to watch someone fully make, um, they made a pitcher out of uh, glass before, and it, whew, what a cool process that is. Yeah. Almost consider that for a prof uh, profession. Yeah, pretty cool profession, honestly. Because that's, that takes some, that takes some foresight. So, I always really liked watercolor though. Something about people doing watercolor always kind of like mesmerized me. Because with watercolor, you can't really like overwork it. Because if you put down too much water, it just kind of blurs everything out and you can't put too much paint down and you just have to kind of keep working it and working it and working it. And I always found that like kind of really fun to watch. And the end product turns out really nice, so. Yeah. yeah. And charcoal. For some reason, when I was in, when I took art class, I always really liked charcoal. Charcoal. Being able to cool. smudge it around, and and I always found that doing shading for me was a lot easier when I could work with charcoal and kind of smudge it around and everything. So yeah. Let's see. Omni, are you planning to make a video about Harrow? Oh, absolutely. He's actually <laughs> he will be in the next. Um, He'll be in the next Perfectly Normal. He's going to be a big part of it because Harrow has captured my heart. I absolutely love him. Oh, so yeah. Getting a role. Harrow is so good. <laughs> Harrow is I, so good. My favorite thing about the uh, Warframe is the guns. I love the guns. I love how they play. I love how they feel. I love how they sound. And I, Harrow pops up and I'm playing and I'm just like, oh, cool, I got a second ability. I use it and I start shooting the gun and I'm just like, and this is now my favorite Warframe. Yep. <laughs> yeah, Harrow is really, really good. Like, I'm, I'm glad that he's not as headshot uh, focused as DE made him initially sound. Mm -hmm. And I'm glad they made him less headshot centric because I have big time potato aim. 
But um, yeah, he's he can do a little bit of everything. He can CC. He can do damage. He can buff you. He can buff your teammates. He can heal your teammates. He can make you in in invulnerable. Or he can yeah, he can make you invulnerable. Um, so yeah, hero is fucking crazy, and he looks really cool too. Mm-hmm. So he's kind of he's kind of like the whole package. Let's see what is this? Omni, does cat. the name Onua Welcome. say something? Say say you something. You sound like a voice actor from a video I saw. I do not know this Onua. So I guess that's a no. <clears throat> I will have to look this up at some point in the future. Yep. Let's see. Shy is well, being... I love this quote. Creativity is intelligence having fun. Well, that's that's a good quote. It's a nice quote. I feel I feel like we need to keep that quote in the database. <sighs> that's a solid that's a solid ass quote. I like that. Omni, who is your least favorite Warframe? Oh boy, this is a da- this is a dangerous question to ask. It is. It is a dangerous question to ask because someone will inevitably get offended. But still, um, Shy is convincing both of her cats to be on camera with I cat love treats. It. Look at them. Yeah, they're adorable. Neither least one fair. looks like a lard cat to me, though. Like the orange one is lard cat, and I just. Lard cat, I love it. Cat. And Gray is the yawn cat, probably because she's always sleeping. <laughs> yeah, very rarely do you see both of them on camera. It's usually just one or the other. I think, and I'm, I'm going to say it, I think my least favorite is Octavia. I can actually get behind that. As much I, as I love Octavia yeah. and as good as Octavia is, she's really boring to play. That was what got me because when I see is when I heard that there was a Warframe coming that was music inspired because I love music. Oh, I was sure. Like, I oh, think everybody was the same way. Cool. Yeah. And mm-hmm. then she comes out, and I'm just like, so not only do I have to play this same 16 note, really obnoxious song for a 40 minute <laughs> survival, but I also have the most non like involved abilities. Just nope. you cast, you forget, and you have to keep up timers. I was like, nah. I leveled her to 30 and I just put her away. Yep. Yep. And I, I think everybody thinks the exact same of her. Everyone's like, yeah, Octavia's good. I guess she's worth getting, but she's really boring to play. Like, this is really boring. And she's a little obnoxious depending on um, what song you decide to put in and how much of a troll the Octavia wants to be. Mm. So I, I totally understand that. I absolutely. Let's see. Omni, are you planning to do a video on the plains of Hypalong? <laughs> <laughs> yes. The answer to that, to that is yes, because it's going to be Crocky 2, Mike! <laughs> I have to. He's in an open plains. There's going to be animals. <laughs> it's too perfect. I was taking a sip of coffee, and y'all oh. almost got coffee through the goddamn nose. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Hey, oh. I can't log in before, so I lost the ask of voice time, but please make the wee bobbin voice. Ah, oh, of course. <laughs> I can I always take do a this. Sneeze break. Oh, well, nobody could really hear you, shy sneeze, so. Sneeze break. I have sneeze breaks all the time. Oh, God, I hope I don't. <laughs> <laughs> Your voice is going to get stuck like that if you keep doing it. <laughs> oh, I have actually gone days where I've practiced a specific voice, and then I'll just. I'll, like, answer the phone for someone, just be like, hello, I mean, hello. <laughs> that must be quite the trip. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that must be quite the trip. Have you ever answered it, like, say, has your mom ever called you? And you're just like, hello, and she's like, uh, uh, hello, I, I, I think I have the wrong number. I'll, I'll, <laughs> I'll, uh, sorry, goodbye. <laughs> uh, she, knows, she knows all my voices at this point. Oh, okay, okay. So she knows if she gets <laughs> if she gets if she gets Vobon on the phone, she's like, oh, "Stop doing the voices and talk to me like a normal human being. I want to talk to my son, not Vobon." No, actually, she she will actually get into character then. <laughs> <laughs> she'll get up. My mom is so fun. She'll just be like, <laughs> she'll be, "Where's Rhino? Get Rhino in here. I need to talk to Rhino." <laughs> That's fucking fantastic. Like, I am here. Your mom gets into character for your voice. That's that's fantastic, though. That's like the best when you have like super duper supportive parents and they indulge you like that. So. Oh, my parents, absolutely fantastic. Well, I have two. Both of them were are self uh, self employed. Well, my mom was self employed for a while, and now she's. Well, no, 
she was just artistic. She was never self-employed. Gotcha. But my dad was self-employed all his life. And so when I said to them, I was like, hey, I'm kind of interested in being like a voice actor slash video editor slash audio editor. And my dad's just like, all right. <laughs> he basically <laughs> all right, just said, yeah. you keep at it. You keep doing it. We will supply you house and home. And I'm like, sweet. I don't have to be in debt. Yay. No debt. <laughs> um, but yeah. That's 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 basically how my um YouTube and Twitch career got started. Yeah. Uh, nobody else would hire me and I'm like, "Well, I have a lot of fun doing this and it's becoming kind of lucrative, so yeah. You got to do it at this point. The economy is so freaking bad. I know, right? Like I I had a college degree that basically amounted to nothing. Yeah. Um like Works it got four to years the... get an entry level job. <laughs> Yeah, but the thing is, I couldn't even get an entry-level job. Even those were just, like, beyond me. Um, Because, like, I got out of college, and I was just like, okay, uh, you know, I'll I'll get, like, an entry-level job or some or whatever, and then, you know, we'll just move on from there and find what I really want to do with my life. Because I have an English major, so it's like, okay, maybe I'll, like, write a book while I'm at this desk job, and nobody would hire entry level data entry i couldn't even get a job as a fucking store bag boy <laughs> i was like well, how fucking useless is this degree if i can't even become a bag boy although uh people told me later they're like well that's probably because you know if you have a college degree and you're trying to be like a fucking bag boy they're not gonna hire you because they think you're just in it for a quick buck until you find a quote-unquote real job and then you bail on them so that's that's what people thought I didn't get those jobs, but I was like, ugh, whatever. <laughs> yeah. So. Oh shit! Is that Omni Voice? No. Nope. No, it's not me. It's, it sounds strangely like him, but no, it's not him. Nope. It's actually a guest appearance from the greatest reviewer ever seen. Oh yes. Who would like to talk <laughs> about the Paris Prime? I want to talk about the Opticor. No. I I would like to talk about the Opticor actually. I I really like the Opticor. Would. Why would you not want to? I I have a ribbon for the Opticor that makes it so good. Oh, uh, what 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 stats? What are the stats? It uh, I think it's ninety four percent electricity and two hundred and seventy one point four percent extra damage. <gasps> so <laughs> yeah, it's my Opticor is a little beefy. My Opticor is a little on the beefy side with almost an extra three hundred percent just base damage. So. It 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 kind of it kind of wrecks a little bit. Hey, Omni Voice, please sing a song with Rhino's voice, please. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. I was I was kind of hoping you were gonna go for I'm a little teapot, but I'm not I'm a disappointed. Hot, short, and stout. Look, <laughs> oh, it's on my mug. <laughs> Fantastic, uh, fantastic. I gotta stop using the manga joke. I don't know. I'm. Improv. I'm. I'm trying to work on it. I'm very script heavy right it's now. It's fine. Every if 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 someone is watching a shy stream, chances are they're all about the whole like making fun of on on main manga. What the fuck so. was that sound on me? Oh! <laughs> that's the like. It was brilliant, the is what it was. Race call. Oh! <laughs> oh Jesus! I love it. <laughs> Anyway, um, can you scream as if Vauban dropped actual tea in his mangas? Ah! Not my mangas. Sailor Mag versus Lephantis. No! <laughs> Sailor Mag versus Lephantis. I think we have next week's drawing, Shy. That was the special edition. The special edition. No. Nah. Yeah, we totally have next week's uh, drawing, Shy. You gotta do Sailor Mag versus Lephantis immediately post-haste right now. I don't care what Patreon says. You have to do Sailor Mag versus Lephantis. How many? DK and Omni Voice high. High on life. High on. Yes! We both went for the same (laughs) thing! Yes! Oh, God. Can I please uh, rap as Loki? I don't think I can rap. <laughs> do it, do it. Uh, yo, Diggy Dog. Um, word to the 
Right now, what's rap? Mom spaghetti. Do the mom spaghetti. I don't know it. I don't listen to rap. Knees weak, arms are heavy. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Oh god. Although Omni, no I, I don't, I don't. No. <laughs> Fine, I, I don't think you can make fun of of weebs anymore. I I saw I saw your gunpla on Twitter, Mister. So I don't I don't I don't think you're allowed to make fun of animus anymore, my friend. I, I I saw your gun. I saw you buying master grade gunpla. Don't think don't think I don't know how expensive those are. I too indulge in in that pastime. Probably a little more aggressively, but still. But still. Let's see. Any other? Wait, is Shy writing about Mag? Shy, you need more Mags. <laughs> um, I think you might have misinterpreted what she wrote. If you think she needs more Mags, so. Thank you, thank you, Toa Forty Seven. I like your name. I like Toas. I like Bionicles. If that's what it's based on. If not, I apologize. <laughs> oh, I didn't. I didn't know that's what that was based on, but. Well, I don't know if it is. It might, it might be the actual use. Could be. Could be. It is Bionicle. That's awesome. Is Lego was my what, Lego was my life. <laughs> yeah, when I was a kid, Lego Legos were my life. It's just they're really expensive. Uh, <laughs> like the good ones, like the like the X wings and stuff. The ones you really want are like a hundred dollars or yeah. more. And it's like that's that's a lot of money for a Lego that I'm just gonna end up stepping on one day and being very upset about. <laughs> Let's see. Ah, uh, so if you want a PS4 glyph, exclamation PS4 glyph. So, I imagine this one won't be as heavy as the PC glyph <laughs> entries. Oh, here we go. Yeah. Sailor Rhino versus the Dark Queen Limbo. <laughs> there are a whole two entries for the Wait, let me go. <laughs> it's like, uh... Uh, let's see. This Saturday at 8 a.m., Watch Sailor Rhino versus the Dark Queen Limbo. It'll be the fight of a century. Will Rhino finally defeat Dark Queen Limbo, or will Loki probably just die? Loki's probably just gonna die. <laughs> it's a really Find good out next time so. on Bullshit Name for an Anime. <laughs> on Boy, I am out of material right now. <laughs> <laughs> I, that was pretty good to me. That didn't sound like an I'm out of material. That sounded that sounded pretty good to me. I gotta say. <laughs> oh. I had enter, but I already have. Oh, okay. But yeah, it's a PS4 glyph. I know somebody put in PC glyph anyway. Um, but yeah. Please, Loki, die. Make yourself blue. A but do It's D Y E. Right, well, uh, uh, next next video, he's gonna be blue inexplicably. Inexplicably, <laughs> and no one but that guy is gonna know why. Exactly, it's gonna be great. <laughs> Unless someone like views this stream at this exact specific time and is like, "Oh, that's why." Oh, like, funny joke. Funny you're gonna joke. see, ten, twenty years from now, you're gonna see this on a TV tropes page, and it's gonna be like little known fact. <laughs> know your memes. Know your memes. <laughs> We're gonna be on know your memes in a few years. Yes. <laughs> oh, fuck. oh, Jesus. I need to stop shaking my leg. I'm probably shaking my microphone. <laughs> not it's well. If you are, it's not noticeable. Okay, so, yeah, I'm gonna shake it both now. <laughs> <laughs> now you're just gonna shake your mic uncontrollably, just, just so jackhammer all style. Again. I'm just breaking <laughs> through my floor. Uh, next art stream, Shy is drawing over sexualized Mag. I don't think Shy will ever draw Mag. I'll be honest with you guys. I think after this whole Mag shenanigan thing. I don't. I don't think that's ever gonna happen. I oh, really here, here's it. something. Where, ah, no, no, come back, come back. <laughs> In a world where people are watching shy stream, Omni is asked to do a lot of. No, wait, do his voices. I ruin the line. <laughs> God damn it. God damn it. <laughs> Ooh, try sentient voice. I don't know. It's so heavily edited. Oh yeah. Hard without editing. Let's see, hey, I gotta be honest. When Shy was drawing that top, the way she drew those two circles and with how light the outside of the flower was, I was like, Shy, are you are you really drawing? Are you are you, are you really drawing what I think you're drawing? That's like then she drew <laughs> the the flower part, and I was like, oh, it's a flower print. Of course it was. 
I'm not. I'm not a basement dwelling pervert. No. What? Of course. What? No. Of course it was a flower. I knew it the whole time. Okay. Omni, do you ship any warframes? Yes, Hydroid on his ship. Ha! I see what you did there. I thought you were actually gonna make a Hydroid ship. I thought you were like, yes, Hydroid and. Mag. Or Hy Hydroid X Relay Operative Number 24. <laughs> Relay Operative 24 is pretty bangerang. I got Hydroid X Reader. I'm I'm more for Operative Number 26, but to each their own. Oh, I see. You're you're that kind of type. I'm I'm that kind of guy. Yeah, you know. Hey, like Omni, why does Loki hang out with Rhino since all we ever see is Loki aggravated at Rhino? Um, it's like unbeknownst to him. A bit of a Stockholm syndrome. He doesn't realize <laughs> it yet. It's mostly just Rhino just keeps like invading him so much that he's just kind of given up and he's like, oh god, all right, fine. Fine! <laughs> oh, you get to sleep guy. on the floor. The guest bedroom is too nice for you. <laughs> poor Loki. Poor, he's... poor Loki. Oh, yeah. I am still trying to figure out where to bring the series. I like. I I think I want to continue going with it until Loki has gone has descended completely into insanity. Ooh. And then and then you can take it to how Loki copes with that insanity. Pretty much. Well, um I have I don't know if, this might be a spoiler, but I might not end up making it like this, so I don't know. Uh the Wukong that shows up is actually a figment of Loki's imagination. Really? It because he was dreaming when it happened. So my plan is as the series progresses, that Wukong is going to appear more and more frequently. <laughs> because he's <laughs> and just that's going gonna to be start... like a signal for how insane Loki's getting? Pretty much. The more insane Loki uh... is, the more this Wukong pops up. Fantastic. Well, <laughs> now now near 600 people know, and you, you've, you've, you've ruined the whole story. For, well, or you've just made the whole story a lot better for everybody. I don't know. It's just going to be a fucking, it's just going to be like a background event. It won't be anything. It won't be anything like game. People are gonna look for it now, though, man. Yeah. People are gonna look for that Loki. No, not that Loki. That uh, that Wu Kong. Be like, wow, Loki's oh, yeah. fucking losing it, man. <laughs> it's gonna Wukong's be hard to here miss him. all the time. <laughs> <laughs> Usha Pink Wu Kong in the back, just wiggling his hands. Have like fifteen Wu Kongs in the same place, forcing Loki to look for his pet zebra. Have you seen Myth the Threat? <laughs> no, I have not seen your blasted zebra. Now leave me alone. But I believe him. If Not time zebra. for once, it is a zebra. Oh, zebra! Myth the thrive. <laughs> ah. Loki's nightmare: waking up in his non-prime variant. I'm using that. Thank you. <laughs> waking up in his non-prime variant. I will credit you. I'm using that. That's amazing. <laughs> that is actually pretty amazing. Why aren't I primed anymore? <laughs> oh God. Oh, another day, another. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Just picturing that is fucking gross. <laughs> my life is ruined. Ruined. <laughs> oh, what will my family ever think of this? <laughs> you should, without a doubt, do that. I, I don't. <laughs> I, I have no qualms about that. That needs to happen. And see Have Rhino and Vaughn in their prime forms. Ah, oh, shit. What is, it? What, is it? what is this, the stream of material? I love it. <laughs> Sometimes streams are like that, though. Like, people just start throwing ideas at you, and then, you know, it just kind of takes its own form, and God knows how many videos I've kind of just gotten because stream was like, hey, you should do a video on this! And it's like, okay, that sounds like a really good idea. I will totally do that. So, yeah. It's, that's the... <laughs> oh, auto mod. <laughs> but yeah, sometimes streams are a great source of motivation, because then you can see what the do... people actually want to hear and what they actually want to see stuff. Try to do um, fake DK's voice. What what does this mean? Again, it's just a try hard nerd weeb's voice. Okay. So, uh, and, I, I... and we've already we've already heard that. Go back in the stream. <laughs> Go back in the stream and find it. it, it, it yeah, it's, watch the it's just it's just it just vobbles. <laughs> Fairly accurate, too. I mean, high-pitched, whiny, talking about anime and manga. I mean, 
it's pretty it's pretty accurate it's pretty accurate i think so if uh, if anybody has any more questions just keep keep on asking them this is basically yep. a q a stream for all i know that's how most streams end up being most interactive streams is just like reacting to what chat says and if they have any questions or if you just want to talk about something that uh you know that they mentioned so this way to pass the time omni what would stalker's voice be Hello, my name is Stalker. How are you today? Um, the most I am regular, directing. down-to-earth person. <laughs> yes. Um, I I wasn't sure you knew this, but uh, your actions have consequences. Um, um, the, 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 see, blood of, the problem uh, is your Tenno powers are useless. <laughs> I know this might come as a problem to you, but um, die. <laughs> this might come as a problem to you, but die. <laughs> Poor Stalker, though. He's so pathetic. Like, he's so cool and he's so edgy, but he's so weak. He just dies too quick. Yeah, he gets blown out the water all the time. Uh. Like, the last... I think he's... In the last eight times he showed up, he stayed around for a grand total of, like, three seconds. <laughs> what does Loki think of Ballas? Worship. 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 What is Shy drawing? Arrow to cat butt? <laughs> huh. He's cat butt. He's cat butt. He's Try cat butt. to do yarn cat voices reaction to the sexy drawing. Uh, meow. <laughs> A very sultry meow. <laughs> meow. Oh, more of the stalker. Your, um, your actions uh, require to be punished, uh, good sir or madam. <laughs> he's just very polite, very normal. Very I, normal, very, yeah. He's no, like, that's the, that's the stalker, like the guy who stalks the <laughs> the rigged containers and shit. That's his voice. Everybody just assumes that he's just like super duper like edgy and it's like um, yep, hello, I'm stalker. And, if uh, someone uh, but if like they ever, add, I don't know, they would never add him into the game, but I would want to be that voice so bad. Yeah. Oh, I mean, pardon he, me. He... I'm just um, just putting some common resources into this container. <laughs> I'm just putting common. Yeah, he's the one that puts the resources in all the containers, and he specifically puts in resources you don't need, just to fuck with you. What does Rhino think of the new Corpus shotgun? There is going to be a whole video with him just talking about all the new weapons. Oh, because the and and the new weapons are so good. Oh. Uh... All of them are so. stupid. Stupid good. Especially that Arca Cisco. Well, no, I, I was gonna say the Arca Cisco is the best one, but I was like, no, the hammer is pretty, pretty goddamn OP, and the shotgun is really good. And it's just like, oh my baby, please, please. Anyway, but yeah. Let's see, we need Salad V. I don't know if I can do Salad's voice. That's a really good voice he does. Yeah. Uh, let's see. It's sort of. I, I'm trying to think what Shy thought was gonna happen there when she started spinning that fidget spinner right in front of the cat. I mean, you had to know that he that that he or she was gonna go for it and just ruin everything. You had to know. <laughs> Sweat. Well, thank you. Uh, uh, met, uh, I don't want to mispronounce your name. Is it Magist? Magist? Magasid? 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 <laughs> Magasid? That's a very very nice compliment. Yeah. Let's see. Uh, rip. Oh, does the fidget spinner not spin anymore? Every time I see a fidget spinner like that, I'm just like, wow. It's a Destiny logo. <laughs> I love all these comments about what, like, deadpan stalker would say. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, you will not leave this place alive. <laughs> I am your reckoning, uh, if you wouldn't mind. Oh, stalker. Done. Oh, good. stalker. Let's have a moment of <laughs> I can silence. imagine something like, This goes pew pew, and that goes pow pow, and they're awesome. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Good. Yeah, those new weapons are something else. Yeah, so good. So good. So good. Let's see. Dead oh, Jay, Jay, I, I see your question. A oh, fine. If if you could be the voice actor for any character, who would you choose? Well, what do you mean, like for any, like for a new? Well, like what? 
I think that I think they basically mean if you could be like a voice actor for any character that currently exists, like you would replace their voice actor, or I guess if you wanted to be like a new character too. If I wanted to be an existing character, I don't know. R- relay operative number twenty-four. Operative, <laughs> come on, you gotta go for twenty-six, dude. Come on. No, I don't. It's just twenty-six, man. You know. I, yeah. 26 is the is is where it's at. Can you think of what the backlash should be if the new weapons got nerfed? Uh, unfortunately. Nope. nope. I can't. So. Please make an O stalker. Yeah, that that deadpan stalker is probably going to be in the video at some point. It's too funny now. I know you're busy, but I've got you down here on my list. Do, oh, do deadpan stalker. Oh, I'm quite tired. I think I'm going to take a nice nap in my coffin. If nobody minds. I'm sorry, there's going to be some sand everywhere for a bit. <laughs> uh, uh, so, Warframe aside, Omni, can you do Cade 6 from Destiny? I don't know that character. I don't play Destiny. Oh, okay. Uh, it's <laughs> I'm basically, sorry. um, uh, what's his face from, uh, Firefly? Um,. Fillion something. Killian? No. I, I don't... Nathan I, Fillion? Nathan Fillion! I never Shit, remember his name! I don't name. know if I can do a Nathan I always, I always mess up his name. And I always call him, like, Fillion or Killian or something. And I don't know why I always mess up his name. He's super duper cool, and I really, really like him. I just always mess up his name. It always makes me a little bit sad. And I imagine it makes everybody else a little sad because he's really cool. Yeah. Uh, another, really funny more people Castle. asking to do Tyler Regors again. What other, uh, did he do any other lines? I'm trying to think. Oh, Till Regor? Or Tyler? I, yeah. I don't know. I don't know. How do you, is it Tile? Is it Teal? I was, I was going to ask you the same thing. I was like, I say Till Regor. Am I saying it wrong? Like, am I, am I, is it, is it Tile or is it, is it Till? I, I don't know. Say it however you want. It's Warframe. Everybody pronounces uh, everything wrong. I got like his quotes. I'm going to, I'm going to look up the specific quotes. All right, you do and my that. clackety clackety keyboard. Clackety clackety clack clack clack. Clackety clackety. Um, while you do that though, I I need I need to comment on Shy's nail game, um, as we always do, because they're a lot shorter this time. I know she mentioned it, I think on Twitter that her nails got shorter and it was gonna trigger everybody, um, but they look good. Um, I like the green. I really like the green color that she picked for her nails. They're like, they stand out and they look good. So. I don't know if she was worried about the fact that her nails are shorter, and I don't know why they're shorter. I would imagine, as as Omni continues to look up quotes, I would imagine that maybe one of her nails broke, like one of them broke at, at like you know, and she had to trim them up a little bit. So instead of just having one nail that was really short, she was just like, "Nope, fuck it, you're all getting trimmed." <laughs> or maybe she just didn't like having long nails anymore. I don't know. Oh, here we go. All right. I love this one. Do it. <clears throat> here we go. Uh, let's see. <laughs> you must be feeling guilty. Need to atone? I'll oblige. Let my gavel ring justice off your thin tin skull. That wasn't as you good as have... last time. You... No, I I was going to say, it still sounded pretty goddamn spot on. Hmm. Or Till Rigor. Like, you have a crazy Till Rigor impression, dude. He's just, he's got that timber, you know? He's lovely. Yeah. Let's see. The Lotus barking at you. Always so calm. Always in control. She doesn't care about you, Tenno. She doesn't love you. Not like I love the two men you murdered. I. Maybe. Honestly, I, I I think I think maybe you know depending on how much they're paying the uh, Till Rigor guy, you know maybe they, maybe they could get a deal on on hiring you instead. <laughs> I mean, it's pretty it's pretty spot on. Like I got it's pretty it's pretty fucking spot on. So I don't know. If uh, don't someone's know. saying limbo voice, limbo would be a voice kind of like this. He's sort of like a, a mix of Loki and Robin, but it's more up. Titan, sort of reporter, like I don't know. <laughs> more, uh, more pivot cheerio. Oh, yes, I'm Limbo. How are I think, you? I, I, think like that's what I think that's what everybody sees Limbo as sounding like. That's sort of that pivot cheerio type character. Yeah, because I that's how I see him, or as a total fucking troll. 
Uh, Till Rigor is probably the best voice in Warframe. Yeah. Omnicephalon. That would be fun. <laughs> if you voice the cephalon. <laughs> Excuse me, operator, but your opticore is ready. I wasn't building an opticore. I know you were. <laughs> I started for you because I knew you'd love one. <laughs> oh, wait, like, oh, wait. Someone great. said Volt voice. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Can I do a decent Cave Johnson impression? <laughs> oh, oh, J.K. Simmons. Yeah, I do need to practice. I, I, I that full voice fucking cracks me up. <laughs> I love. I, I still love my. Uh, yeah, I'm a cop, you know. I, golden kneecaps. That's all it is. Hey, <laughs> hey, Biggs. Hey, Biggs. Get over here. All right, boss. I'm here. <laughs> How you doing? I got a. I got a flathead. <laughs> Oh shit! M more people than Nidus voice. I don't know. It would either be very sort of sinister, yeah, or it would be something dopey. I'm hoping for dopey. When when that eventually happens, I'm hoping for the dopey voice. <laughs> I don't want him to be taken seriously for some reason. Will there be a Thanksgiving video? I don't know. Maybe I didn't do one last year because I just didn't have time. But I might actually yeah. do it this year. I don't know. It's it's hard to do that. Like what? It's turkey. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna get that turkey. I gotta tell you, now that she's added in the uh, the skin color, that 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 over sexualized new loca lady is is looking pretty proper. Now that it has a, a skin color, I can't do Zephyr's voice. That's my that's actually my sister that does that. She does. Oh really? Uh, yeah, she's not a voice actor. She's a singer, but um, so she has one voice, and it's a very nice voice. But yeah. Uh, yeah, she did. She did Zephyr. She um, she does the caca. <laughs> she does. She does the caca. She does the caca. Caca. From now on, if oh if you ever have to credit your sister, just do the caca. Dash her voice. That's what I do. Nice, excellent. God, there's so many requests. Jesus. Well, oh. yeah. Now now <laughs> you've, you've you've shown everyone. <laughs> Your vocal range, and everybody's just like, wow, he does a really good Tilra Gore. Maybe he'll do a really good this. Let's see. Now you're just going to get endless requests. Hey, someone so. said, I already have, tw what was it? I already have 12 Opticores. Oh, the J. No, J, build more Opticores. Do it. 12 isn't enough. I mean, you could have, why 12 when you could have 34? Can I do a Solaire voice? I don't know. I, I need like a tin can to speak through. Where's my <laughs> Pringles can? I used to have a Pringles can around here somewhere to do Bane impressions. Did you really? Yeah, you specifically I, I for Bane impression? Yeah, because it sounds like he's talking through a Pringles can. It does. Oh, I, I, I agree with that. I just... I was born in the darkness. <laughs> I don't know. That's just through my hand. Uh, uh, would Oberon Prime have a different voice than regular Oberon? I don't know. Right now, he's got more of a triumphant and king-like voice. I, uh, how would you make it any different between the two? Yeah. It's even more. I could make it even more dramatic for Prime. I am Oberon Prime. I rule my kingdom with an iron fist. <laughs> now excuse me while I tend to my garden. Pringle and... a man after my own heart. Yep. I mean, do Ash. What would I do for Ash? He would have to sound like... I don't know. Stealthy? You'd have to sound like a douchebag. <laughs> Ash would sound like a total fucking douchebag. <laughs> That's Let's what see. it'd sound like. In my estimation, anyway. <laughs> from my experiences with Ash players, just a total fucking I don't know. I'll, I'll have to get back on that, Ash. I really don't know. Just an overconfident, self-inflated douche. <laughs> uh, let's see... Trying to read through these. Ash is that guy. Nobody likes Ash. Even Ash hates Ash. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Damn. Excalvoy. I don't know. Excalvoy's I always just give him a very, very default voice because oh. I think it's. Damn, it's so funny. Omni would just use his regular voice for Ash then? Oh, shit! Jay, Burr. you're not allowed on my videos anymore, ever. Burr! <laughs> I'm taking your credits off all my videos. Breaking. Burn! Get out of here, son! You're done! Get wrecked! <laughs> oh, man. 
on stream, burned on stream. <laughs> and I had to, and I and I had to read it out loud for everybody to hear. I couldn't just let it pass through like a ship in the night. No, 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 no. I had to spotlight it. <laughs> so now, even if people come and listen to the VOD, like, man, Omni got fucking wrecked that one day. <laughs> God damn it. I'm All an right. Ash player. Are you saying that I'm a douchebag? Yes. yes. When I, I read am. that person's name, I thought they were Omnistorm for a moment, and I see their Onistorm, and I'm like, I did why? Too. You're one letter away from being my friend. So <laughs> close. So close. Change so your close. name. <laughs> Change it to Omni. M -m 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 Omnistorm. <laughs> the king of memes. Memes. Uh, I've never heard of Omni before today. Are you a voice actor? Do you do that as your job? If not, how? Yes, I am. Well, okay. I'm basically just about two years out of the hole, out of nowhere for doing this. So I'm more or less aspiring at this point. I have been in contact with many different people about possible jobs. Um, there is a couple right now that we're kind of working through things to see if something's going to work. Um, but I definitely, that is the goal. The goal is voice actor. If that falls out, I don't know. I like video editing and audio editing, but that can go. You should. I, 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 I would find it hard to believe if someone did not find your voice to be suitable for their voice acting project. Um, so I, I've I, had a couple, I, I and it sucks that they didn't go through. I had one guy who was making a um, Skyrim mod, and he had a really cool character. And I was talking oh. with him for a bit, and he just disappeared. His mod disappeared, and everything. I was like, damn it. That sucks. But at least people know you exist, and you're getting offers here and there, and, you yeah. know, you're moving forward, so... Onward and upward. One falls through, on to the next! I want to hear you someday as your job saying, Coming up next on the Discovery Channel. I would love to do that so much. <laughs> I would I'm really like, I'd do anything. Audiobook, commercial, TV you show... Could, you could be the next I mean, movie trailer guy, easily. Yeah. yeah. Good Thanks afternoon, Shy, DK, and you stranger. <laughs> you strange. <gasps> you stranger. Damn. Damn. He call you strange. Can I? Can I do Atlas, please? Uh, all right. The voice is, is it? No, he doesn't have a list. He just talks like this. He's sort of like a deep <laughs> Sylvester Stallone, you know. Uh, you know this I'm is Atlas. a list. What you talking about? This, this is a list. This is a list. list? Uh, yeah. list. Yeah. No, that, that's for getting into. Um... <laughs> oh my God! I just forgot his name. What the heck is wrong with me? Forget it. I'm moving on. Moving on. <laughs> moving on. Don't don't let them see that they got you. Don't let them see that they got you. <laughs> uh, my favorite thing, my absolute like the one role I would love to hit, and I would honestly say, all right, I've peaked. If I could do it, I'd love to be a Disney villain. Oh my god! I'd have to learn to sing, life. but I'd be willing to. But I just to be a Disney villain, just to honestly, have that. Presence. I feel like. To be in a Disney musical, you don't even have to really know how to sing. Especially yeah, if you're the voice. villain. Because, <laughs> like, if you sing badly as the villain, it's going to make people hate you more, and it's going to it's gonna make you a better villain. Because then nobody will root for you, because, oh, man, he's trying to kill the princess, and he sucks at singing? God <laughs> damn, this guy's a real piece of shit. Like, uh, God. I think, I think it's okay if you don't know how to sing. You can still be a Disney villain. Besides, not every Disney movie is a is a musical, right? You could, you could uh, yeah. yeah, it's hard. You know, I, actually, I guess every Disney movie does kind of end up being a musical, doesn't it? David Attenborough, ooh man, uh, could be Gaston in a remake. <laughs> <laughs> no one memes like Gaston. I would you do that you could heartbeat. be a solid Gaston, yeah. <laughs> I could see that. I'm especially good at expectorating toy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's funny that I found and subscribed to Omni's channel yesterday, and today I find him here. Yay! See, Yay. I know you're there. <laughs> I've been watching you. <laughs> uh, Can I do a demo like man from TF2 drunk impression? Ooh, I've Eddie. got two tickets to the gun show, but I ain't giving you one. I'm going with your ticket. <laughs> I don't know. I can't do his voice. That's good. I can enough. do the accent, sort of. Oh. Some someone mentioned that sexy new local lady does not have a navel. 
No belly button. She was made in a tube! <laughs> she was made man. in a tube, I tells ya! <laughs> There's a tube, I tells ya! <laughs> Gaston is a jerk, of course he doesn't. <laughs> I almost read that. <laughs> oh my god! Ah, oh, Jesus! <laughs> almost read that. Uh, well, there's an eggs. I don't know. I don't have a song. <laughs> He's made in the tube. <laughs> the tube man. In the tube. He's a tube man. In the tube. <laughs> See, I, like I will go into that accent occasionally. It's deep seated within my soul. There's somewhere in there. Omni, oh, you could you pretty... give us a Rick impression? I know what you're talking about, and I don't know. <laughs> I don't. Uh, I think that's what Rick and Morty. I don't watch that. Show. Yeah. Oh, I okay. barely watch television. I haven't watched television since I was like 12. I was gonna say if it's not on like Netflix or Hulu or whatever, I, there's a good chance that I don't watch it. Can I do Palpatine? Do it. <laughs> yeah, that's the that's how everybody does their impression of Palpatine. Just do it. Do it. Unlimited power. <laughs> It's Pickle Rick! Pickle Rick! I've heard of that. I know that. I know the reference, right? Please? Yeah, that's the reference. Pickle Rick, that's, that's the thing. It's well, it's, it's, it's hard. It's hard to miss. Oh, you'd be a great Johnny Bravo. <laughs> You're the one with me. Oh, yeah. I don't know. I don't know this place. That's been so long since I've seen that. Holy yeah, it's been a really, really long time since um, I've watched Johnny Bravo or any of those old Cartoon Network series. Like Kids Next Door and like Courage the Cowardly Dog. I loved Kids Next Door. Yeah. Kids, Kids Next, Next Door, Door was really so cool. <laughs> oh no, someone's doing the Game Grumps thing. <laughs> Do it. <laughs> Screw it. Do it. Oh, that was good. Yeah? Yeah, that was pretty freaking good. Omni, do your Omni voice. <laughs> All right, here we go. Ah, hi, I'm Omni. How you doing? Wow, that's 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 your Omni voice. This is the true voice. This is the secret voice that I have hidden away from the world. <laughs> Worst voice ever. A Skeletor impression. Nah, he man, you ignorant <laughs> boob. <laughs> you ignorant boob. I am not nice. <laughs> I love Skeletor's voice. It was so silly. He's just a buff guy with a skeleton face, and he's just nah bones. <laughs> Okay, you gotta entertain the people for a second, because I gotta take a quick bathroom break. Okay. Entertain the people! people now. <laughs> now we're gonna do things my way. Musical chairs, everyone, go now! <laughs> oh, let's What is Excalibur's voice? I don't know, I just have him just... Do a DK impression! Hi guys, it's uh, it's DK here. Oh, hi, how you doing? <laughs> oh, jeez. Omni equals Kermit. Omni, do Sans from Undertale. Uh, but he he talks through beeps. He's like, <laughs> uh, these damn voice requests are giving giveaways. <laughs> I don't have a chair. Why are you like this? You lose. Do you have a limbo voice? Yes, I'd like to give limbo a voice like this. He's even more more voice cracked. Oh no! Well, see, whenever I go into the British voice, I kind of occasionally do like a little scrap. It's sort of I don't know, but uh, no, limbo's voice is like. See, I'm a reporter. I'm very fancy. I had him as a reporter in the last Couch Potato TV. It was very good. I, I quite enjoyed that. Sans is actually Irish. What? Oh, boy. I did actually, um, I have to admit, I did do, very initially, I tried to be a Let's Player, and I do have an Undertale Let's Play, so I guess my voice is in there somewhere. I think I gave him, like, a deep New Yorker. What do we got here? Yes, it is, you hear me. Hello! Uh, my name is DK. <laughs> uh, I have to switch. With... No, you're not switching with me. It's my chair. Is there a... Do I have a Harrow voice? I'm still working on his. I don't know. I really... I gotta think deeply about him, because he's such a... He's, like, such a favorite Warframe to me. I have to give him something good. Would you do a Salad V voice? Ah, I have to listen to his voice again. He has such a... I'm, uh, I'm, I'm back. I'm back. Oh, um, I kind of ruined the stream. Uh, That's okay. It was, I, already, I it was already gone. It was, it was fine. Don't worry about it. it it's shy stream, so, you know. <laughs> um, we'll, we'll, we'll help you start over again at some point, Shy. Don't, don't worry about it. 
Don't worry too much about it. I'm I'm sure it's fine. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Uh, no, don't kick me out of my heckin' chair. I like my heckin' chair. I wouldn't be Good surprised heck. if DK would like this drawing. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if everybody in stream liked this uh, drawing. This is a good one. This I want to see solid. Rhino torn between Corpus Shotgun and Opticore. That will happen. <laughs> <'Cause it's, laughs> it That's the next video. He's already done it. It's rendering. Expect it soon, TM. Absolutely, yeah. Upload frequency. My best attribute. <laughs> 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 Subscribe to me to get an occasional video. <laughs> Uh, um, that occasional video. That's that's why I subscribe to anyone. Uh, Harrow chat. No, I'm not gonna do that. Uh, Harrow is the best as test. Yes, I agree. He is the best as test. Harrow, Harrow is is really good. We we've, we've discussed this, but yeah, Harrow is pretty pretty goddamn amazing. All right, let me listen again to an Al Green quote so I can kind of get the voice in my head. Maybe let maybe it invade your synapses. Oh god, an akimbo opticor. <laughs> I don't know, he always reminds me of a Starscream, so it'd be sort of like this. Mm, yes, Lord Megatron. I would never betray you. Oh look, betrayal! I will now be the main villain for the next two episodes. <laughs> not a bad Starscream, though. I mean, not a bad Starscream. It's hard, I have to get into it. Yeah, Starscream, I, like, OG Starscream is kind of kind of rough. Or I guess, well, even the Armada Starscream is kind of rough playing the long game he's totally got like 10 unreleased videos saving up yes absolutely 100 percent. that is <laughs> that is true <laughs> playing the long game yep oh armada star oh, yeah. best star scream though i think we can all agree on that you, you know what uh, no no shame i'm just gonna try and do alad v and it's just gonna be terrible and it's gonna sound nothing like him do it Oh, it's your friends you're looking for. You're welcome to place a bid for my newest Sanuka prototype. I don't know. I can't do it. That wasn't bad. His voice is too bad. hard. Because he, he, he's got kind of a high voice. Yeah. But it's kind of low at the same time. And it's it, it's it's a weird voice. I'm, t I'm, t I'm too... They got the too deep for it. Tra uh, let's see. Are we ever going to see a blooper wheel? Every video I make is a blooper reel. <laughs> <laughs> All I do are blooper reels. Oh, boy. I do actually, um, I would like to do one. I just need to learn to stop swearing profusely every time I mess up a line. Nah. I don't want to get demonetized. YouTube, no. <laughs> oh, YouTube. Oh, YouTube and your demonetization policy. Vey hack. I don't know if I could do a vey hack. That's a very unique voice. That re It really is. It's too good. It's too good. Yeah. I was gonna say the the YouTube monetization thing is is weird, because recently, yeah. and I, I was talking with Shy about this, like a lot of Warframers, like, oh yeah, all my Warframe videos are getting demonetized because war is in the title, and I'm just like, um, none of mine have been touched, but my Dauntless videos get um get demonetized a lot. And I'm just hmm. like, why would they demonetize Dauntless and not Warframe? Like, am I swearing more in the Dauntless ones? Is it PETA? <laughs> um, so I, I don't, I don't quite know what the algorithm is doing, but it's doing things apparently. Why are these fools still breathing my air? This is unacceptable. <laughs> I don't know. He just screamed. <laughs> it's he's he's. I don't know how Vehex voice actor does that. It's so phenomenal. I. It's crazy. I, oh, I don't remember Unicron's voice. It's been so long since I've seen Transformers. Oh, yeah. Unicron, that's some... Oh, who does his voice? It's Orson Welles? Yeah. I, I mean, believe I, that I, was I, one of Orson Welles' last projects. Yeah. Which is kind of amazing, because uh, supposedly he had no idea what the fuck he was voicing, and just kind of he was like, eh, here you yeah. go, here are the lines. And it turned out pretty, pretty goddamn dope. Uh, no, I have not ever played any of the System Shock games, actually. I haven't either. I didn't really get into gaming until I was, like, 10-ish. Yeah. Uh... I think the first game I got was Mortal Kombat 1 for the Sega Genesis, because I got both of them for Christmas. And my parents were very upset when I learned what the blood code was. Oh. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> Yeah, my dad was like, is there supposed to be blood in there? I was like, uh, 
maybe. Because <laughs> when I was playing it earlier, there was no blood in it. How did you do that? I don't know. General Sargus Rock, all I have to do is have an asthma attack. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and employ a speech impediment. Perfect. <laughs> Can you do Gordon Freeman's voice? Oh, oh the memes. Oh, yeah, Those I'll, I'll memes. do it again. Here we go. All right, there we go. Spot on. Thanks Spot for that, on. Omni. You're go. the best. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. All right. Let's Sargus see. Ruck? More like Sargus Wrecked. Oh, people uh, imagine if I had a real weapon. Apparently, I do sound a little bit like Jax. Yeah. I haven't played League of Legends. Whew. Can I do Darvo? I don't think so. Darvo's too special. He's just too good. He's too good. Yeah. Darvo's another kind of really unique kind of weird... <laughs> Press X to Jason! Jason! <laughs> Jason! Uh, typical Jalert. Thanks for the host. I can't see how many people are hosting because Shy made her host uh, text a little too large. Um, but yeah, thanks for the host. Uh, Appreciate it. Imagine if I had a real weapon. Is that it? Is that close enough? Imagine sure. if I had a real weapon. Real weapon. Real weapon. Real weapon. I don't know. Uh, Omni, can, can we, we get, get the row Kid Tears? Kid Tears. <laughs> I like that nickname. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if I can do that. Uh, Barrow's rough. Barrow's another know, like, rough one. I, honestly, I tone his voice out most of the time. <laughs> <laughs> Not a bad thing to do. Not a bad thing to do. <laughs> Uh, can I try Clem? My tube man. Clem. My tube man. I like how tube man has become a thing. Tube man. That's my, my tube, tube man. man. My tube man. <laughs> my New Yorker tubes. <laughs> Doing Arcwing episodes. Ew, Arcwing. Arcwing's not that bad. What's it's your favorite weapon? Hoptico. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta be. Is it too? Is it, do we even need to say this? Is this just not a staple? Oh, let's see. Can we get okay. an orders for... Ah, no, Hang can't. on, I got I gotta take a break oh. again. Real life stuff. So I might be a little longer this time, but uh I will be back. I swear. Dun, dun, dun. I hope. Uh, yeah, I'll be back. B BRB team, maybe, hopefully. He's gone forever. And now you're all stuck here with me. <laughs> Now you'll never escape my grasp. I will now subject you all to smooth jazz music. Where's the smooth jazz music? Slaves, bring me my smooth jazz. I don't know. <laughs> oh no, my dude. <laughs> oh, great. I got a meme. My first stream meme. It's good. It's great. Can you, can you tell the glyph winners to pay attention? Everyone, pay attention to Blood Eye Roz right now. Do it, or I'm leaving. Just do it now. Just go. Go, or there's no more tubes. Let's see. Smooth going down. Uh, question. Have there ever been any rough jazz? I mean, if you call freeform jazz when it's just... Well, maybe, I don't know. You ever heard about the so-called Neko Neko voice? No. I don't know what that is. Someone wants to... Duke Nukem! Duke Nukem! I'd love him. I don't I don't know if I could. I, I will hmm, maybe try. I could try. Uh, let's see. Dun, 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 dun. I'm here to kick ass and chew bubble gum. And I'm all out of go. I don't know, is that it? I'm not too I'm not too uh, warmed up right now. This is a shame. I'm gonna drink more water. Very important thing to know for all voice actors and voice actor aspiring to be voice actors. Water, your best friend. Just drink it up. Oh, it's it's just liquid life. It refreshes your vocal cords, keeps you hydrated. It's the best thing you can ever have. Rhino loves the new Corpus weapons. Next video is going to be, like, maybe entirely about them. Who knows? Hanhao voice? Again, he's really editing. Edited. Heavily. Uh, it's just, it's deep and ominous. <laughs> Tube Nukem! <laughs> uh, tubes! 
the tube men! Let's see. Uh, your request. I'm assuming it's Street Fighter V's Abigail. Don't know it. How well have you thought out your villain lifestyle? Every day. Every day, all day. I am just thinking, how can I take over the world today? Do I do it through uh, air horns? Do I do it through uh, mail-in rebates? I don't know. What would Doom Slayer sound like? Who's Doom Slayer? Someone tell me who Doom Slayer is. I don't know. Can I do Samaris, perhaps, Teshin? I don't know. Samaris? I, hmm. I only have, like, one sort of deep, powerful voice, and Samaris is like, Hunter, there is another sanctuary target in the area. Who's that voice? It's Pikachu! Oh. <laughs> it's, I'm here to kick bubblegum and chew ass. I'm all, I can't do it without laughing. <laughs> let me try it again. Oh, let me try it again. I'm here to kick bubblegum and chew ass, and I'm all out of hat. <laughs> YouTuber! <laughs> oh. I come back to Tube Man, don't you? Tube Man! Tube Man! Tube Man! Tube Man! A Tube Man! Okay, hopefully that doesn't happen again. Uh, Thanks for your coming. voice gives me life. Breathe life, my friend! <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, I do not do streams. At least, not yet. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe you should think about it, because you're kind of a natural. <laughs> and people really like your voice, and that's kind of all that matters with streaming. <laughs> Just, I'll do a puppet show stream. There you go. Puppet hey, show! there you go. Time to go. Get those, get, those, um, get those Warframe commission puppets, and you're good to go. Omni, it doesn't sound like you were two inches from my face. Terrible Samaris. Hunter. Oh, no. <laughs> My personal space! Hey DK, Omni doesn't oh no, Omni doesn't need to learn about the Neko Neko voice. You can you can go to any of my video on demands and find out all about that dumb voice. Um <laughs> let's 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 I don't think we need to get into that. That's that's uh that, mm -mm. No, I don't think. Omni, I just started crafting my Optocore. What does Rhino think about it? Rhino, what do you think about it? Oh that guy is cool! <laughs> Oh, Rhino. Oh, Rhino. But yeah, you could totally just do like a Warframe stream. Would you just like chill, hang out, and play Warframe? And just do random ass voices all day long? And I bet you, I bet you people would line up for that. Chat, would you line up for that? Oh, geez. I bet you would. I bet, oh, I bet they would. I bet they would. Do you go. think you were able to do the narrator from the Stanley Parable? Oh, that is a tall order. That is a goddamn tall order. That is is it really? Favorite voices. He's I basically never, just kind of a Loki. <laughs> I never I never that. actually played Stanley Parable, but I've watched so many people play through it that I feel like I have. So, yeah. Oh, that game. That game. So, it's it's, it's kind of crazy. So good. I would, and I never watch streams. I'm here for Omni. Sorry, guys. Yeah, well, look at that. You brought in a viewer. You brought in a heck of this. Heck of this. Good on you, man. Good you're pretty man. cool. See, yep. now you are you are not banned from my channel. Everyone else who's not here that subscribed to me is getting banned. Banned. <laughs> John, John Prodman voice. Hey. I would kill. I would kill. I would murder a man to be able to voice him. <laughs> Wanna buy Prime Tube Man. Prime the Tube Man. Tube Man. Tube Man. And oh, whenever I say right. tube man, I gotta put my hands up like I'm really exasperated. I don't know, it's just something that happened. Oh, putting moving your hands when doing certain voices is funniest thing. Um, I Jay can actually <laughs> attest to that. When I was doing uh it was when I did that video where everyone and uh Loki was the one invading in and doing shit. Mm -hmm. When I was doing the Oh, you will die, heathen! Take this and that <laughs> I was actually animating my hands like I'm pulling back a bow and firing it. Oh, I thought you were gonna say like you were doing like a little like a little pish posh sword fight. <laughs> no, I'm actually like, pulling back. Well, Jay nearly lost his shit. He was laughing so. <laughs> He's like, "What? My voice acting is for sale for the official official things, you know?" Yeah, it is for uh, sale. Unless you, you have like, thing. 
a million viewers, then I'll just be like, okay. <laughs> oh yeah, sure. If you have a million viewers, I'd do it for free like that, no doubt. But it's kind of like, you know. And I don't mean to be shallow when I say it, um, but it's whenever I do a role, there's always the mix of like then the mix, the problem of worth like worth my time versus like time and effort sort of thing. Oh sure. The, the rule of thumb is I'm not again like if anyone ever wants to ask me. Could you do this? Could you do that role? I am never offended by an offer unless you are blatantly being an idiot. Other than that, like, I just gotta ask. You gotta inquire if it's something official, if you're actually working on a uh, full project. I'll look into it and talk business. And then you're sort of like, um, you know, how much are you paying me versus the time and effort involved? And then there's the sort of if your exposure, if the exposure from it is far more dramatic than what I can do myself mm -hmm. then yeah I feel like anybody with like a you know I don't want to say anyone with like a commercial skill like that is you know you kind of mm -hmm. have to do that I mean you know if that's what your main source of income is going to end up being then I mean you can't just take on every role just because you know it sounds fun you have to make sure it's actually worth your time to do it so. yeah always research the role it's the most important thing. definitely definitely it Sound uh, advice. Tenno hack Omni. It occurs to me I haven't watched your videos. Amazing. And uh, Kinchow. Oh, Kinchow. His video production Kinchow. quality is through the roof. You two need to collab on a video. I love Kinchow. Oh. <laughs> Stuff is just amazing. So good. Fan worship. Moving hands. It's a natural Italian thing. And I am very Italian. Very Italian. I am ironically very Irish and very Italian. I am both of like the mob, <laughs> the stereotypical I, mob. I wouldn't culture. be able to tell that you were very Irish, honestly. I don't have an Irish accent. It goes back in my. Oh. I look Irish. I look very Irish. I'm not a. I, I guess. I guess a little bit. I guess. I guess. I guess. I could. Now, now that I think about, it, I'm like, I'm just like, yeah. I guess. I guess. I guess. Italian, certainly. Certainly, I can. I can. I can hear and see that, but the Irish, I, not even. Trying Mr. to tell me, I wouldn't know. Can you read me a bedtime story? Hold on a second. He's actually gonna pull up a bedtime story. I hope you guys realize that. <laughs> and he's he's probably gonna read it in like Rhino's voice. <laughs> <laughs> Which is just crazy. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Who's this? Do it in Rhino's voice. Do it. Where is it? No, I can't find it. There's one that's... Just, I'm, I'm trying not to make it too silent for a while. I'm just... <laughs> well, you keep looking it up, and I'll... Uh... Oh, here we go. Here, here's okay, a list good, of... Good, good, good. Super short. All right. Once there was a snake who liked to scare people. That was me, so no one liked him. He was sad. He ate a watermelon. And then he died. The end. Wow. That's apparently a bedtime story. I just I wow. looked it up on the internet and I read it. <laughs> well, that's a that that is that is that is a bedtime story and a half right there. What the fuck? What the fuck? Like Scare what, what your children to sleep. Oh, oh is okay, he going okay. to pull out some creepypasta? I would, but I think that would take up a little much time. Oh, who cares? Pull up some creepypasta. I Get a creepypasta would story so going. Much. Do it. Do it. Turn this into a fucking creepypasta stream. I will yeah, do that. Dude. Let me pull up. I mean, up we got day. we got time. I mean, Shy doesn't look to be anywhere near. Well, I guess she's getting closer to being done with. Uh, sexy hippie new local leader lady. Um, but yeah, dude, go for it. If you want to read some creepypasta, I'm all for it. I'll have to find. Ah, what's a good one that's not too. Because my first instinct, my whenever I think creepypasta is always Russian sleep experiment. But I'm like, nah, that one's like long as hell. <laughs> Who was phone? <laughs> I don't think I've ever heard that one. Uh, let me see. I, I've actually, on my channel, uh, shameless plug here, I have actually narrated a few of the creepypastas. I did 11 Miles, oh, okay. uh, Abandoned by Disney, uh, Something Has My Eyes... And then I did just a quick, it was like a com uh, compilation video with a bunch of stories in it. The creepypastas have the weirdest names. They do. Some of them are very strange. Hold on, very let me see. Yeah. Creepypasta 
classic? Is it classics? Please no. voice Clem. Clem. Clem is such a hard Clem. voice to do, right? It is so difficult. Clem. <laughs> There's gotta it's be such a wide vocabulary to really nail the true essence of Clem. Not just anybody can really, you know. There is a page on the Creepypasta wiki that was like the essential stories or something. I'm trying to find the webpage. I just can't. Hakuna Gracada. I have. I don't know why I've never heard that, but I'm just. 300 confirmed kills in Rhino's voice. Oh, cripe. Maybe later. <laughs> Maybe later. Uh. Chat, if you enter the giveaways, you need to be around and pay attention to Roz for winners and instructions. So you have to be paying attention to Roz and you have to listen to her instructions. Otherwise, it's going to be nigh impossible for her to uh, get you your glyph. So pay attention to Roz. You need to be around when you win and you need to follow her instructions. Um, otherwise, she will not be able to get you your glyph code and all that effort will have been for naught. So... Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Is it in the archives page? God damn it, I cannot find this page. I know Russian Sleeve Experiment was in there. There were a few up ones. Uh, yes, I know about Smile Dog. Yeah. The most favorited pastas, there's obviously, there's Jeff the Killer. Ah, Jeff the Killer. I, I didn't really like that one. Psychosis. I feel like I've heard of Jeff the Killer. It was, I don't know. It just, to me, it was kind of like a very urban joker. Oh. It was weird. Nah. Uh, Lord, let's see. Only on Quiet Chat Channel where you can win, but you're still a loser. Yeah. Jeff the Killer is lame. Oh. I I don't, because I, I don't really follow Creepypasta that much. So a lot of these I'm just not really that familiar with. So, yeah. 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 Now, the question is, do I do one... Do I do a cold, uh, a cold read where I haven't read it before? Or do I do one that I've read a lot? Cold read, usually I'll probably just be like, excuse me, I need to correct myself. But, um... Do one you've read before. Yeah. Or, you know, if we... Well, I don't know if we have enough time for both. Nah, let's but, see. Yeah. Do one you've read before. It's really good. Also, Shy, you're doing a bang up fucking job with this um, with this new local lady. Ooh, this one's good. Oh, wait, do I remember? This I one? thought I thought you were starting. <laughs> I thought the creepy pasta started with like just a long line of ooh, <laughs> this is good, and then it's just <laughs> so. Yeah. Do it, do it, do it. Oh, I remember this one. Hey, Shy. Hey, insect. By Jin Freddy. I'm not shy, but I'm saying hi to you on her behalf. Uh, Tubeman Daddy X. Let's Ooh. make it a let's make it a creepy peppy. <laughs> it just ends. <laughs> and suddenly I received a notification. I opened the notification and it said Tubeman! I Tubeman! <laughs> hey <laughs> Best meme. God, this I'm one's long. Wait, it's the crucifix. The dope, man. It's the dope, man. This guy re... What, what is this, a rewrite of this story? How dare you rewrite this one? This was one of the best creepypastas I've... Oh, upsetting. Somebody rewrote a creepypasta? Like, they can't it's... even come up with their own, they just rewrote someone else's? It's not the same. Not that at least I remember. Okay. There is one, okay. If this one... No, it's... Yeah, it's this one. I mean, I, I feel like you need to make a video on the tube men just so that the tube men can be on YouTube. <laughs> the tube men. The tube men on YouTube. Forgive me if anyone's asking questions. I'm currently trying to browse through the creepy pasta yeah. wiki. To see. It's, it's, it's mostly people asking for voices, so don't worry about it. Right, I don't well, care let for Let me run through pastas. them. Hello, this is my normal voice. Hello, this is Loki. Hello, this is Rhino. Hello, this is Bobbin. Hello, this is Anonymous. There we go. <laughs> well done. <laughs> Now everybody that wanted a voice is happy, except for the people that are like, do Morgan Freeman again. It's like, uh, Morgan Freeman. I'm just creeping around. <laughs> I'm just creeping around. I'm oh, God. Morgan Freeman. Oh, Morgan Freeman. 
Um, I don't care for creepy pastas. SCPs are better, in my opinion. Those are cool. Yeah, it's hard to read those without constantly redacted going redacted a lot. Whenever yeah, you try I, I was redacted. gonna say like you can't really <laughs> you can't really on stream um, read an SCP. I mean, reading reading them is fun, but creepy pastas are more audible. All right, here we go. Here we go. Yes, yes. Yeah. This one is good, and it's not Becky's too horrendously Ray. long. Okay. Do it. It. This one is called The Sandman. Oh. The Sandman is a really good one. Omni, um, can you this. try ASMR? No! <laughs> no! <laughs> no! If you pay me like $2,000, I might. But No! I so wish that- Oh, Blaze! Hey, Blaze! Blaze! I wish, could, I wish I could chat with you guys like usual. Of course it would be the day that Omni's in there! <laughs> I'm sorry, Blaze. Hope everything's going good with you. And... We miss you, Blaze. Oh. We yes. miss you, Blaze. Yes, Stalker Kaiba summoning Clem the Forbidden One. <laughs> I remember <laughs> that joke. <laughs> Tube accent. Oh god, it's the. All right, let's it's see. The tube man. Mm, that's that. That's gonna follow you for the rest of your life. Tube man. <laughs> How did they think that wasn't gonna get timed out? All right, this is the story I'm looking for. I can go through this one. It's been a long time since I've read this one, so it's at. It's a lukewarm read. It's, oh, it's okay. Lukewarm read of what's it called? Uh, it is called The Sandman. The Sandman. Gotcha. Yes. Go for this it. This is a very good one. All right. Let me zoom in here. Reading mode. I will, I will try not to interrupt you while you do it. If you need to, please. This, you got to do what you got to do. Your stream. <laughs> <laughs> it's not my stream. It's your, shy, stream. shy in your streams. Uh, let's see. All right. Well, she is my wife. You know. Here we go. I'm gonna move my keyboard away here. Get the microphone right. right up front and center. Oh, oh Get my. my. Narrating mode. Let's, everyone, turn down your lights. Watch Put this. on as your headphones. You, as soon as you start, she just cuts the stream. <laughs> <laughs> In three, All the build up. Just... <laughs> what happened? No. Alrighty. <clears throat> Oh, no, not not to clear my voice right in front of the microphone. <laughs> <laughs> I lean oh, away from one. the microphone to breathe, whereas Omni's just like, I need I need to clear my voice. <coughs> <laughs> uh, joke, cough, cough, joke. All right. Yep. Those who dream by day are cognizant of many things that escape those who dream only at night. A quote from Edgar Allan Poe. Eleonora. Go to bed and wait for the Sandman. Even as it came out of James' mouth, it seemed to him a strange thing to say. And he was not sure why he had, but for some reason it worked. Daniel went to bed. The next morning, though, he asked, What does the Sandman look like? James was making breakfast. Daniel sat at the table, short legs swinging under his chair. Nothing really, James said. It's just an expression. What does it mean? Just something people say. He put a plate of eggs in front of Daniel and kissed him on the top of his head. He thought that would be the end of it. Until he saw the Sandman for himself. He was getting ready for bed and stopped by Daniel's room to check on him while he slept, as he often did. It was such a routine precaution that when he saw a pale, naked man sitting on the edge of Daniel's bed, rocking back and forth, it took him a moment to process what he was seeing. He reacted the way any father would, of course. He ran into the room screaming, and for a moment he thought about attacking the intruder. But then the man in the bed turned, and that's when James saw that it wasn't really a man. It was a pale, slithery thing, hairless and warped, its joints turned the wrong way and its body out of shape with itself. When it moved, it was like an insane marionette dancing on a stage. James froze. The skittering thing watched him. He felt spreading warmth, and then he realized he had pissed his pants. Only when he remembered that Daniel was still there in bed, staring at the broken shaped thing sitting a foot away, did he regain the courage to move. He grabbed Daniel and ran. In the hall, he turned to see if the thing would follow them, but it didn't. 
For a moment it watched, and then, like a stop-motion nightmare, it crawled to the window and jumped out, leaving only the billowing curtains to mark its passing. James had trouble talking to the police. He reported a break-in, but when asked to describe the intruder, he didn't know what to say. How could he make the ordinary man in the blue uniform sitting at his kitchen table while two of his colleagues searched the house understand a thing like he'd seen? He couldn't even understand it himself. To make it worse, Daniel's memory did not correspond to James. He described an ordinary-looking burglar. A man in a mask, he said. James thought about it. Had it been a mask? No. It would have been a full costume, an elaborate one, something like they would use for a movie. And that would not explain the way it moved. But in the end, he simply echoed his son's testimony. A man in a mask, he said. A burglar. The lie unsettled him almost as much as what had happened. The doctor said Daniel wasn't hurt and showed no signs of molestation. James was relieved. They stayed at a motel for a couple of nights until they felt ready to come home. And then James had a new security system installed, along with bars on the windows. He didn't like the sight of them in Daniel's room, but it seemed like the only thing to do. James was, James was frightened that first night back in the house. But Daniel, strangely, was not. When asked if he felt okay sleeping alone, he just said yes. In the end, it was James who found himself sleeping alone. He was up all night listening for the sound of anything moving in his house. Although he had convinced himself that his memory was faulty and that it had been a normal, albeit probably deeply disturbed, man in his son's room. When he closed his eyes, even for a moment, he pictured bloodless skin and a twisted, inhuman face. He found himself wondering, why my house? Why my family? He knew, of course, that there didn't have to be a reason. But still, he wondered. Two weeks later, Daniel stopped talking. James didn't notice at first. Kids went through quiet, fra uh, quiet phases sometimes. But eventually, he tried to get Ta Daniel to talk. And he wouldn't. Eventually, it became clear that he couldn't. Back to the doctor they went. Nothing wrong with him that they can see. It was the diagnosis. Maybe it was trauma, James asked. Could it, could it be... Some things like these come on late? Children could be a mystery even to those who know them best. They recommended a child psychologist whom James couldn't afford. He could not, for that matter, even afford the bill they were giving him now. Nothing seemed to help. Daniel would write out answers to questions sometimes, but never more than a yes or no. When James would ask him what was wrong or if he'd seen or heard anything that frightened him, Daniel would only stare. He seemed furtive and bemused. James found himself missing the sound of his son's voice. Sometimes he wanted to hear it so bad that he ached, but it seemed that Daniel would not talk again until he was ready. James had other things to worry about, too. He was convinced, beyond reason, that the intruder was not really gone. Though the alarm never went off and the locks and bars remained undisturbed, he was sure that he heard movement in the night. Not normal movement. It was a sound like a huge snake slithering through the house. When he heard it, he imagined horrible things. Nothing was ever there when he went to investigate, though he often thought he glimpsed something just out of the corner of his eye. A pale foot or a misshapen shadow that would slink away as soon as he turned. He rarely slept, and when he did, he had haunted dreams. Soon he realized he had not left the house in weeks except to go over to the bank and buy groceries. He felt hemmed in it. With Daniel acting mute, he hadn't actually had a conversation with anyone in weeks. So he called his mother. The connection was bad and her voice sounded faint, on the verge of not being there at all. I guess I'm okay, Ma, he said, pausing to wipe the sweat from his palms and then to make sure he could hear Daniel playing in the next room. But things have been... a little rough. We had a break-in. Oh, how awful, Mom said. Did they take anything? Nah, just ran off. It was weird, though. I, I haven't really felt comfortable since then. Are you still working at that hospital? No, Ma, I, I left last year. You know that. Oh, uh, well, have you been getting out? What about that nice woman you were seeing last year? The one who played piano? James scowled. She was always asking that kind of thing. 
Didn't she know how hard it was being a single father? That he didn't have time? He was about to say so when something made him pause. Ma, is there anyone else on the line? I don't think so. James was sure he heard it, though. A short, gasping sound of someone trying to hold their breath and failing. A cold feeling crept across the back of his neck. You're sure nobody is listening on the other phone? Dear, there is no other phone. I'm on the cell. That's why the service is so bad. Then what is... James stopped. If the sound wasn't coming from her end, then... He dropped the phone and raced to the hall. The extension hung on its hook, undisturbed. Heart, heart pounding, he hurtled into the garage. The spare phone sat on the workbench. No one was in sight. But could they have been? Could someone have been here all along, listening to his phone call and then slithered away? Might they be here even now? The next day, he took out the extra phone extensions. He even filled in the jacks with rubber cement. Daniel watched him work, eyes curious, but James offered no explanation. He began giving Daniel a light physical exam every week. His CNA training was a little rusty after a year on disability, but you never really forget. It was an absurd thing to do, of course, even if there was a physical cause for Daniel's behavior. It would be nothing he could discover this way, and he was aware on some level that it was a compulsive behavior. Nevertheless, it made him feel better. One morning, James set the diaphragm of the stethoscope against Daniel's chest, but he could not locate a heartbeat. He moved his hand in search of the right spot to no avail. Then, to test it, he listened to his own heartbeat, and it came through steady and clear. But when he checked Daniel again, he didn't hear anything. A thought came unbidden to him of the Tin Man from Wizard of Oz, whose chest was as empty as a kettle. A sick feeling rolled in his stomach. He threw the stethoscope down and grabbed Daniel by the shoulders, looking into his face. Daniel stared back with bright eyes. He even smiled a little with the corners of his mouth. James felt the tingle of tears. He swept his son up in his arms and hugged him, and Daniel hugged back. Then James put his shirt back on him and sent him to play. The stethoscope, he decided, was broken. He threw it in the trash. But things got worse. James' terrors were no longer relegated to the long hours of the night. Now it seemed that some creeping, some skittering and scuttling, some unknowable noise in the dark corner or another filled every second of his day. The thought of how big the house really was started to weigh on him. There were so many rooms he wasn't in at any given time, so many places. Someone or something else could be there. He imagined strange figures occupying the rest of his home when he wasn't around, melting into the walls or merging with the shadows whenever he turned on a light or opened a door. How would he know if they were there? How would he ever know? Soon he didn't even have to be outside of a room to imagine it. When he walked up to the stairs, he pictured pale figures lurking beneath them. When he went down the hall, he pictured a crawling thing slithering behind the walls, shadowing his every step. If he sat too long in the same chair, he'd imagine it was right behind him. And he was never comforted when he turned around and found nothing there, as he could only guess that meant it had moved swiftly and silently behind him once again. Wherever he was not looking right now, that was where he imagined it to be. He was losing his mind, he knew. The only thing that helped him cling to sanity was Daniel, seemingly undisturbed. Other than his muteness, his behavior was perfectly normal, and whenever he seemed to sense that his father was troubled, he would hug him or squeeze his hand or even smile. Sometimes, when he left the room, James cried. One night he found himself creeping around the house with no lights on at two o'clock in the morning. If the intruding thing had taken to violating his daytime activities, then he would get revenge by confronting it on its own terms, the night. And really, night was no more frightening him t to him now than the day. They were almost interchangeable. He padded barefoot down the halls, up the stairs, in and out of disused rooms. Sometimes he stopped to listen, hoping to locate it by sound. It was a stealthy, creeping thing, he knew, but it was awkward at times, and it couldn't always keep its strangely shaped limbs from making their distant, irregular footsteps. The smallest noise would give it away. There was one room he suspected it spent most of its time in. The spare bedroom. Not a bedroom at all, really. More like a closet, just large enough to accommodate a bed if one were so inclined. It was unpainted and uncarpeted and drafty. He'd always meant to fix it up. 
He didn't come in here very often because he disliked the bare, unused look of it. It made him think of a partially dissected corpse. He came in now, though. If the thing had made its nest in any one place in the house, this would be it. Of course, there was nothing in there now, but that, didn't mean, that doesn't mean there never was. He cursed, running a hand through his sweat-damp hair. What was he missing? How did it hide from him? What was its secret? He peered into the room's empty corners one by one, getting his face a few inches from the plaster and floorboard so that he could be certain. Certain that there was no space for it to conceal itself. The light bulb flickered. He froze. My god, he thought, it's on the ceiling! He pictured it crawling above him like a huge, pale lizard. That's how it gets around, he thought. That's how it escapes any time I should have it cornered. It just scuttles up the wall and hides right over my head. He imagined it dangling down behind him like a spider. If I just turn around, he thought, it will be there, hanging with its face right next to mine. He held his breath. He didn't want to turn around, but he had no choice. It was between him and the door. With a quiet sob, he rounded on his heels. But of course, he was alone. There was no man on the ceiling. He checked twice. Maybe it crawled out and was waiting for him in the hall. But when he checked, the coast was clear once again. It should have been relief, but it's not. After all, it had to be in here somewhere. If the ceiling was not its trick, that just meant it was something else. Something even more strange, even more clever. He went to Daniel's room. He had not stopped checking him on him at night like he always had. This time, though, rather than open the door, he listened at first, pressing his ear against the grain of the cheap wood and holding his breath, terrified that he would hear a skittering noise on the other side of the barrier. But what he heard instead shocked him even more. Daniel was talking to someone. James recoiled for a second, and then, when he'd caught his breath, he all but kicked the door in. Daniel was already awake indeed, sitting up in the bed, but he was not saying anything now. The light flashed on and James stalked halfway into the room before stopping, suddenly torn. What did he want more, to confirm that his son could speak again or find whomever he was speaking to? The creak of a door hinge settled the matter for him. He ran to the closet and threw it open. There was nothing inside, or at least, nothing that shouldn't be there. He swept aside clothes on their hangers, but nothing was hiding between them. Then he dragged the toy box out and emptied it into the floor. Nothing. He combed along the bare walls and floors, and yes, even the ceiling. Pushing aside every last bit of rubbish and stray knickknacks so that he could be sure, absolutely sure, that nothing was hiding. All the while, Daniel watched him. After a few minutes, James was panting and covered in sweat, and the closet was bare, and there were neither intruders nor answers inside. It struck him as funny, somehow, and he started to laugh, very quietly. He kicked his son's toys out of the way as he went to sit down in the bed, dazed. He became aware, all at once, of several things. First being that he had not slept in days and was nowhere near his right mind. The second was how close he'd come to really losing it, for good. Tomorrow, he decided, they would both sleep until the afternoon. And when they did wake up, he and Daniel would get out of this creaky old house. No more staying cooped up like prisoners, and no more checkups. No more dreams about monsters. He would even take the bars off the windows. It was time to get back to living like real people. It was time to... James saw it when he brushed a hand through Daniel's hair. He pulled Daniel, a little too roughly, closer. His son acquiesced to the examination without fidgeting or complaining as James pawed the side of his head hoping that what he was seeing would somehow stop being apparent. He stared and stared until he ached from not blinking, but there was no denying what was right in front of his eyes. Daniel was missing an ear. No, he realized with mounting nausea, both ears. There was no injury, no incision, no mark where they should have been, simply smooth, blank flesh, as blank as Daniel's quiet, unperturbed demeanor. James swept him up in his arms and ran into the hall. He was not sure where he was going or where he, what he meant to do when he got there. He just knew that there was now nothing more important than getting his son out of the house. But their path was cut off. A Nate sat in the hallway with his back to them. No, not a man. James recognized its stretched limbs and stooped shoulders. The pale thing squatted on its haunches, rocking back and forth like it was palsy. It almost seemed to be in pain. 
James hugged his son closer and backed away. Then he heard Daniel's voice. Daddy. James turned to Daniel and he heard the voice again. Daddy. But Daniel's lips hadn't moved. James looked back at the hunched figure. Its head jerked when it talked like a tick. Hello, Daddy. James' mouth went dry. It took several tries before he could speak. Don't call me that. It is. This voice's name. For you. Go away! Leave my family alone! But I am. Your family. The longer it talked, the more the voice became distorted and blurred. An icy feeling nestled in James' stomach. Who are you? Someone. Who came to visit? Why here? You invited me. James' heart thudded against the inside of his chest. Why? I had something you wanted. James licked his dry lips. You're lying. You don't have anything I want. I want you to leave. Leave and never come back. Who is Daniel's mother? James blinked. What? Who is Daniel's mother? What the hell kind of a question is that? How old is Daniel? James blinked again. The thing's voice caused a pinching pain in the center of his forehead. Stop asking me these things! When... Is Daniel's birthday? I don't... I don't know! What is his middle name? Shut up! What was his first word? I said shut up! James wanted to tear the thing apart with his bare hands. Only the heaviness of Daniel in his arms kept him where he was. You... Lo... You wanted a son. So I made one for you. James' hands began to shake. That doesn't make sense. Made out of what? Out of myself. James' stomach turned over. But now I need those parts back. Daniel picked at James' shoulders to get his attention. Something was strange about Daniel's face. Danny? Danny, open your eyes! Daniel scrunched his eyes shut tighter. Open your eyes, Danny! Danny! Open your eyes! Open them now! Daniel shook his head, trying to refuse, but he couldn't hold it forever. Eventually, his eyelids flicked up and James saw the truth. Daniel's eyes were gone. James almost dropped him. For a second, he wanted to throw his son down that he could stop looking into those empty holes in his face. Daniel opened his mouth as if to speak, but of course he had no voice. He is coming back to be part of me again. No! No, 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 no! Give him back! Give him back! I cannot. It has been too long. I warned you this would happen. You're lying! You're lying, you fucking liar! Give me my son back! Give him back! I do not lie. I warned you. He could not exist forever. But you... You do not remember. You can only remember what I want you to. You forget. All the times we have talked. Daniel felt like a doll, or an empty bag. His hair was falling out, disappearing before it touched the ground. His hands vanishing into his sleeves and his feet rolled up inside his pants cuffs. James cradled the tiny, shapeless thing. Tears streamed down his face. Soon he held a pile of empty clothes. And then those two were gone. He looked around the house. Toys disappeared. Photos vanished from their frames. Daniel's little shoes were no longer by the door. James turned towards Daniel's room and confronted a wall where the door should be. 
He groped the blank surface, fingertips scrambling. He hit his head against the wall. The pain didn't feel real. Why did you do this? It was what you wanted. And I learn so much. This is impossible. People will ask. People will wonder. The police, the hospitals, the people in the neighborhood. They already have forgotten him. They only remember what I wanted them to. Like you. James pressed his hands to his aching skull. Will I at least remember him after this? You can try. But your mind will fail you. Now that everything he was is part of me again. James sat on the floor, looking at the blank wall. Out of the corner of his eye, he saw the thing creep toward him and even felt its wet hand on his shoulder. But he didn't look at it. If I won't remember any of this, he said, then why tell me? Because a father should know. And then James was alone. Abigail worried about James sometimes. When they met a year ago, he said that he'd never been married and never had kids, but there was a certain pained expression he assumed when he said the last part. Abigail knew that look. She'd met parents who had lost children before. You learn to recognize it. And there were other things about him that worried her too. Sometimes she would find him staring at a particular spot on the wall, brow furrowed, furrowed in con concentration. He did not seem to realize what he was doing. And of course, there was the insomnia and the sleepwalking to consider too. Yes, there was a lot to worry about, but she loved him all the same. James said he'd never have kids, and neither had she. She'd long wanted one though, but it was impossible. And she worried that James wouldn't stay with a woman who couldn't be a mother, though he constantly assured her it was not so. There were times, and more and more often of late, there were nights when James took us to sleepwalking. And even Abigail imagined that she'd heard strange scuttling noises in the house and saw impossible shapes in dark corners. When she thought she would do anything, absolutely anything, if it meant having a little daughter for she and James to raise. And at that moment, she became truly afraid. But she never knew why. There you go. The end. Water I'll be time. honest with you. <laughs> Water time. Uh, the delivery was a lot better than the story, honestly. <laughs> yeah. The delivery was so good. And the voice is really good. The story was kind of lame. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah. I, I did not care about the story one little bit. Um, but I thought the delivery was super awesome. I loved all the voice. I was just like, man, the story that was just like, I don't know. I guess creepypasta is just not my thing. But the delivery was fucking amazing. It was like 10 out of 10. Was that over 20 minutes? I know it was like a medium-sized one. <laughs> no way. That wasn't 20 minutes, was it? Was that a legit like 20 minutes? Was that like 25? That was long. I don't know. I, I, wasn't, I wasn't paying attention to um, how long it was. I apologize if it was too long for anybody, but uh, it was that or a Russian sleep experiment in which, see you guys tomorrow! <laughs> Maybe you should just do creepypasta streams. Possibly. Because, again, it, I don't think it necessarily... <laughs> Sorry. I don't think anybody would even care what you read. I mean, you could read instructional manuals in those voices, and I think people would kind of uh, flock to it. So, yeah. Um... I think you could definitely do stuff like that. Whoo! Because, yeah. It, it was, for me anyway, it was the delivery that kept me interested. Because, like I said, the story kind of lost me um, a while ago. <laughs> I was like, the story's whatever. But, like, the voices and, like, the voice of the Sandman was, like, so good. It was, like, really good. <laughs> also, goddamn shy. Like, look at that. Once she smudged all those colors together, it was like, oh shit. That's, that's pretty fucking legit. Like, what the hell? 
I mean, I know I was just gushing over um, Omni's delivery, but it's like, damn. I'm just some scrub surrounded by talent, super talented people. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> That's what you do when you're a talentless hack. You surround yourself by super talented people and pretend like your life has meaning through them. <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. He said very depressing. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but that 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 background is pretty legit. But Yeah, dude, you could you could totally just I swear, you could start a series where you just read instruction manuals in various voices and I think people would, like, flock to it. Put the hex wrench into the hex slot number six. Not hex wrench six! No, doesn't he know? Oh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> Alright, let's get back to memes. Let's get, <laughs> let's get back to memes. Now that we've done our creepypasta, um, we can get back to memes and everybody talking about the tube man. Tube man! The, the tube man! The tube man. Well, you read yeah. Atlas Shrugged. I don't know, maybe, you know what, I might, I might consider doing it. <laughs> yeah, we had an art and reading stream for a moment. Yeah, we did, we did. It's so back to Tube Man. The Tube Man. Oh, back to the God. Tube Man. How about a copy pasta next? No, let's let's not read copy We're pasta. done, we're done, we gotta Usually read. Usually copy pastas aren't worth reading anyway. Yeah, it's the stream. It's the stream, yep. Omni Samu. I have a feeling you're gonna see a, you're gonna see a few new subscribers after this stream, my friend. Woo! Thank you for anyone who does. Yeah, and it and it would be a very worthwhile subscription too. Oh, stop it, you! Omni, that shut was great. That shut. That was some primo right. shut. Oh man, I got the best shut. The shut is for reals. <laughs> Read who was phoning your tube man voice. The tube man. <laughs> I love how that's a thing now. Oh god. I feel like, Let I feel Loki like say, week. "Here come that boy." Oh shit! Here come that boy. Oh shit! What up? <laughs> I'm not subscribing because I don't know who he is or what his YouTube channel is called. If you look at the uh, Lard Cat post up there, he is Omni Omega Voice, and you can find him, it looks like, on Twitter and YouTube under both names. So, yeah. Go check him out. And he is fantastic. New Obviously. phone, who dis? <laughs> <laughs> I want to do that. Uh, oh. See you later, Blaze. See you later, Blaze. Hopefully, hopefully we'll see you next week, Blaze. Hopefully. Oh, look at that um, highlighter, Rob. That's so cool. I know. And it's really cool that she's just doing it with an eraser. And yeah. she just colored everything and then she's doing a highlight with an eraser. Mm. Mm. Um, let's see. I bought one of those new displays. I didn't buy any more because I didn't have enough ducats. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. I I have a surprising amount of ducats. I hate calling them ducats because I always think it sounds too much like turducken. Ducats. So I always call them ducats. Yeah, I call them ducats. Yeah, ducats. Oh, it's like, ducats. Oh, I'm very refined. Ducats. Um, but yeah, the new display looks good. I haven't put anything on it yet, but I mean, it's got a weird shape, and I think it would look good displaying Ember's butt. <laughs> so, or just a close-up of Lotus's cleavage, whatever, something, <laughs> something like that. Yeah, I'm just gonna take Barrow Katir and I'm just gonna zoom it right on his forehead. <laughs> That's all I'm doing. Right on his forehead. Hell yeah! Uh, a civilized man calls them ducks. Uh, Omni um, yeah, out of everyone doesn't have enough ducats. That's so funny. It's really funny because some people comments like because they they're like, oh, you're a YouTuber, you have everything. Fuck. <laughs> yeah. Do you know how many credits I have right now? How many credits do I have right now? Hold on. How many really? credits do you have right Equipment, now? Equipment, arsenal. I have nine hundred and ten thousand. Oh damn! Really? That is the most credits I've had in like three months. <laughs> See, I I have a I have a shitload of credits because I don't know what to spend them on. Um, I do so many. I do a ton of trans uh, transmutations. I do a ton of oh. ribbon, I, ribbons, and I've also been maxing prime to mods. Which, <sighs> oh yeah, prime mods will eat will eat your credits right up. Thankfully, I have most of my um, prime mods mostly leveled, if not fully leveled. So it's like, and I have most of the mods that I want, so I don't transmute a lot. So I'm just like, uh, my my credits just keep accumulating because I'm not actually spending them on anything. So I'll do like a five-hour stream, and it's like, well, 
I made some credits. I don't know what to do with them now. So they just sit there until the next great prime comes out, and I'm just like, I'll buy 12. Um, or until the next pedestal prime comes out. I just buy like 13 of them because I'm just like, well, Is that it's something. Story? I don't know. I'm, I'm going to like give it a moment before I go back to like growly voices, because doing a reading always is like, okay, I'm done now. Now you can rest. Now you can relax. <laughs> I'm surprised. I've only gone through one water bottle here. Honey and tea. Honey and oh, tea. I had some earlier. Yeah. Old green tea. Very important. Whenever, whenever, whenever my voice is wrecked, everybody's just like, oh yeah, honey and green tea. Or, or honey and tea. It's like, honey and ever, green tea. I don't think I've ever actually had honey and tea. And lots and lots of water. Water is the thing for your voice. Just keeps well, those and, vocal cords lubricated. And just uh, your body in general. Yeah. Uh, water is and good for you. You gotta cut off if you're um if you're gonna do voice stuff, you have got to cut out all forms of carbonated drinks. Really? Gotta say, because the Does it well, just kind of like mess with your vocal cords or something? Carbonated drinks will make you burp. And if you ever drink something and then you have to do like a voice, oh. shit, that's you never Aside from that, the other thing too, acidic drinks. No, can't do them. No, yeah. like, um, really acidic sodas because those will actually take a toll on your vocal cords over time. Mm -hmm. That's why I don't even drink, not even like orange juice or anything like that. Yeah. Sweet lemonade is okay. So very, like, light lemonade is okay. But or it's been diluted a lot. Yeah. Otherwise, like, that citric acid is just too much. Yeah. I could see that. I could see that. If you want like a long lasting like voice acting career, you probably would stay away from everything. Sort of yeah. acidic and lemony and limey and stuff like that. Unless you want your voice to end up like this, which is totally possible. Hey, you can have a great career as a villain. <laughs> hey, I'm gonna send you two men fan art to your Twitter. Fucking do it. <laughs> do Fucking it. do it. I do will it retweet that man. shit. Do it for the tube man. Do it for the tube man. <laughs> there we go. Wait, wait. Yeah. Do we have time for one more giveaway, or are we almost done? Um, we're probably almost done, but fuck it. Do another giveaway anyway. We can find something to fill the time until you finish it. Um, and Shy can just take a tediously long amount of time on, like, a highlight or something. I'm sure we can figure something out. But, yeah, do one more giveaway for these fine folks, um, and especially since we had that awesome reading from uh, Omni. I think that deserves another, another giveaway. Another giveaway on me. Yeah, oh, this is from man. Omni. I eat garbage. <laughs> <laughs> Dove man. Everybody loves the Dove man. It's done. New meme. Yep, new meme. We got a new meme. Axe tube man body spray. <laughs> 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 well, if I ever noticed me, Omni's little tube man. <laughs> <laughs> oh. The Dove man. The Dove man. And it's never going to leave you. You will always, from henceforth, be known as the Dope Man. Dope Man! The Dope Man! Get used to doing that. Dope! I gotta stop. I gotta stop doing it. Uh, you yeah. gotta stop doing Kyle the Dope. I'm gonna, hey, you little punk, I'm gonna pound your head into a thin tin skull. You think you can mess with my Dope Man? I don't think so. Huh? You get over here, I'm gonna punch you. <laughs> I'm gonna bring this goddamn ocean down on us if you touch my Dope Man one more time. <laughs> that needs to be. Uh, I'm going to petition for Till Rigord to now be from uh, New York. Because um, that is fucking brilliant. Uh, What's the Tobe Man? What's the Tobe Man? Tube Man glyph. No. Oh, hell yeah. If uh, they ever ask you for a glyph, you got to do the Tobe Man. It's gotta, you got to do a Tobe Man. A Tobe Man's got to be like a manic bombard with very obvious New Yorker, like, <laughs> apparel. Absolutely. Oh, that'd be great. <laughs> hey, you looking for a scrap there? Eh? Oh, you should have dressed for a funeral. You come and take on my tube, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> you have now identified yourself. Shit. Forever and all time. Nobody's going to care about about Loki or the Opticore or, or any of your other voices. From henceforth, everyone will know you as... as hey, do the tube, man. Do the tube, man thing. Tube man, <laughs> the tube man. You got to extend the ooh. My career is over. Yeah, it's this over. Is a good last stream to end my career. Shy, shy ruined your career. I'm just gonna go. I'm just gonna be a peddler on the street. Yep. 
They remember the two man. Oh no, it's that crazy guy again. Give him a nickel. Give him a nickel. <laughs> two men that are voiced by Hami only on me. You just, <laughs> you know what? Next <laughs> April, oh, he's gonna contact me. Hey, we gotta put something together, and it's just gonna be Tile Regor's assassination, but all of the Grenier are talking in a <laughs> accent. <laughs> now, now the Grenier are all from New York. Now you're gonna have to do every. Everybody's <laughs> gonna request that you do all the Grenier bosses with a different New York accent. I, my friends and I actually had a joke, uh, it'd be funny, we had the infested with like a really deadpan New Yorker. They're just like, hey, you know, consume us and uh, be reborn and all that jazz, you know. Charger, go get him. <laughs> it's just like a, just like an ancient sitting there in a chair, he's got a cigar in his head, he's got the little like bowler hat, he's just like, hey, Tano, you think you can come in here? You can just come in here and go blast us away? I don't think so. You understand what this place is? This is a hive mind operation we got here. We're working for <laughs> Fred right now. Do you know who Ford is? Ford's a big name in the infested industry, and I'm his right hand man. <laughs> <laughs> they should. You should. You should. That needs to be a thing too. <laughs> I'm expecting. I'm expecting videos on all of this stuff, and now everybody in stream is expecting videos on all this stuff. So you got a lot of work to do. Hey, I'm walking over here. <laughs> Yeah, just this charger walking across the street, <laughs> being very angry at like a walking over. Here. And then at, at the moment he's just like, "Oh uh, yeah, I forgot. I gotta, I gotta do with the uh, the customary. All right, <clears throat> all right, I'm done with that. Yeah. Just, I'm walking over here. Also, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we are so one of flesh, you know. Uh, why, why do you just want to, you know, hurt us and friends? <laughs> Hey, you hey, want I'm dying here! Hey, you want a blessing? Come on. <laughs> also, <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, I'm shrieking over here! <laughs> <laughs> Just sitting in a deli. Yeah, I'll take some Capricola with that sandwich and a little bit of. <laughs> <laughs> Oh god, oh no, what is this? Oh no, we know what this is! Oh, this is Omnibutt. This no! is Omnibutt. This no! is Omnibutt. No! <laughs> but how? But how mother, is this Mother, mother, look be? away from the stream! <laughs> look away, mom! Look away, mom! Please, please make it like a New York suit dick butt, please. <laughs> and he's just saying, Thobe, man. I got a bucket of chicken. Alright, let's do it. <laughs> Uh, Shy Graces with an IRL shit post. <laughs> uh, Omni, do you need to go to DK stream after this just to bullshit? <laughs> I'm not. Today's my day off, actually. <laughs> like this is like the one day I get off from my streams, and my one day off I spend uh, doing Shy streams. So, anyway, Slapstick, how are you, Slapstick? What's how how like? Cause Slapstick is in Florida right now. Oh shit. And I'm hoping Slapstick is okay. Obviously, he's okay. He is here in chat. Um, but hopefully, all's going well, Slapstick. And um, I think last time I saw you, you said you had like a house full of people or something. And so, yeah. Yeah. Hopefully, hopefully all's well with you, Slapper Dapper Doo Da Day. Yeah. But, damn. Omnibut is, is very dark. What is, what is this? This is his uh, this is shadow butt. Oh wait a minute! Wait a minute! Oh, is this like is this like a Cthulhu thing going on here? No is way! This like is Cthulhu this butt? Wait, I, I'm gonna have a guess. I'm not gonna say it. Okay. I'm just okay. gonna wait. I'm gonna see if it's right. Oh, you're not gonna tell us. You think you know what it is, but you're not quite sure. Yeah. So that way, even if I'm wrong, I can still say I'm right. Oh man, you can you can do it either way. Because <laughs> you can just be like, well, I sabotaged it because she knew I was right, and then she just redrew it and. <laughs> Slender butt. <laughs> I, I'm not quite sure what what's what's going on. Could be slender. Could be, could be slender butt. Could be Cthulhu butt. Chalutu, as yeah, Megan would say. Like fucking slender butt. I'm done. <laughs> I'm fucking slender done. Butt. <laughs> Sandman butt. Oh no. <laughs> could could be. Oh yeah, yep, yeah, there's the tie, there's the tie! <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> oh crap.
Christ, that You should have just guessed it. You should have just said it. You would have been right. You would have been right. Eh. But no. You had to be all unsure of yourself. <laughs> Daniel Butt. <laughs> 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 you, you find the tube man you find the tube man I'll pound you in a cube man <laughs> oh. that's fucking great <laughs> Ooh, we, we are done oh hey. man already already but it's been so good just chatting it up with Omni holy shit it's oh, been well. two and a half hours oh my yeah, god yeah I know right it's crazy but Shy is finished with this that turned out really, Look really that. good. Like, yeah, when she first that. started, I was kind of like, yeah, it's not so bad. Like, this hap that happens so often. Like, I'm just like, yeah, it started off okay. And then she just adds all these colors and all the all the right shadings, and it just turns out fucking amazing. And it, it always kind of, you know, bewilders me how well Shy does these things and how much love detail the she can... Oh, yeah, the background turned out so good. Oh, oh, man. Yeah, because it's, it's crazy to think that when she started doing the background, it was just it looked like just a bunch of fucking random-ass colors, and then she started smudging them around, and it was like, yo, that's fucking legit. But anyway, hopefully everybody enjoyed the stream. Well done, Shai. You are amazing. Um, anybody that subscribed, followed, threw bits into the non-existent cup, um, fantastic. Thank you all so much. Shy sends all her love there via middle finger. <laughs> and, um, yeah. So, one one last sellout for the special guest before I inevitably get to be cut off prime. So, uh, go ahead and tell these people where they can find more of your amazingness, even though uh, Roz has been shilling your link all stream long. Yeah, check out Roz's links. I am Omnivore, YouTuber, and, and maybe eventually streamer. I don't know. Pretty fun. You should, so. you should consider it, dude. You're you're a fucking natural. I got uh, I got my you don't YouTube. You need any help. Yeah. Follow, be enamored by my um, shitty memes. <laughs> That's everyone's Twitter. Come on, yeah. everyone's Twitter is just a it's just a sequence of shitty memes. But I I think you need to be ready for people to tweet uh Dobeman stuff. Oh, it's you. gonna happen. It's gonna. Oh happen. yeah, fan Next art. Forget yeah. it. Next video. I was gonna make region chat three. <laughs> Be nope, cool. nope. Tobeman time. It's time for the Tobeman. Tobeman time. time Tobeman, and I'm I'm waiting for a New Yorker Charger New and Yorker his Charger. exploits. <laughs> but anyway, thank you all for being here. Shy, fantastic job, and I'm sure I'm about to be cut off prime.